Yes, I'm back. Yo! Come on! Kenny Rose will come in back. back. Yes! Yeah. 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 Kenny makes it! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> and Mark Fiel Moe. Of course. But me, me Kenny Moe, we'll get in before 7 o'clock tonight. I know. What a guy. No, you'll know because you've pinned my house, mate. I did, I did, I did, I did, I did. These are actual uh, Davy Martin's chinos that I just uh, died. I died right. of. Is that, he's got, is that why he's got fucked three one at the weekend? Uh, by, <laughs> just, <laughs> take but, by the way, you should have seen what was in his pockets. Was oh, it dirty? St- sticky. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> sticky pockets. Don't it's you, you. you can smell uh, Dougie Emery in his pocket. <laughs> 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 uh, boys, we need to say the hydro. Five <laughs> weeks. What's that about us? Got music sorted. Bobby Petter DJ. He's got a Why? He's a bit Nielsen on the sax. Is Petter definitely doing it though? Coming up with a remix. Brilliant. Isn't there? What's it called? Young Hearts Run Free. Oh, I, oh like that. I, like that. I like that. Young hearts run free, never be wrong up. My man and my man and you. Yeah. Yeah. Baby, you've got to get the old. I'll get, do you know what? You're on the banjo, you're on the banjo at the I'll hydro. Get, I'll get the banjo. Snap the banjo at the hydro. Remember when the hydro first came out the first time, he made up a song and everything for him and me, Willie? So he did. If it was never I wrote another a good one, but I'm not doing a guitar anymore. You keep your... um. You keep your expertise to what you're good at. Do you know what I mean? Keep your expertise to what you're good at. Yeah. Right? <laughs> you know what I mean? So what's that? Let Why, do you okay. remember Simon for the in-between us? Aye. Why the fuck has he got his fringe today? <laughs> what is that? No, I don't know, mate. I just fluffed jail on it. It's better head. when you go curtains, mate. No, no, oh. that's better, Paul. What? Aye, it's you like that, big man? Aye. Some of the birds like it that way, you know. Aye. So. Hey. I'm going to get this for fuck. Big hands, oh. Big hands, yeah. What's that, bad boy? To my coaching, to my coaching, man. Is that a jumper? Jumper, he, he also wore it on the coupon show on Fritz. But I'll be wearing this for the next month, straight. <laughs> and even if he's a math podcast. Who uh, who managed to chisel that fucking big black sleeping bag off you? <laughs> Do you know what? Funny as you say that, Lynn says to me this morning before she went to work, make sure you don't wear that fucking jacket on the podcast. Sick of looking at it. Uh-huh. You're looking well, big man. There's loads of guys, to be fair, messing me where they get it. No, no. I they have. Yeah. Can't be. Fucking loads, I swear to God. That's some jacket you got, big man. Where'd you get it? I told him it was a freebie. I stole it at the Be Inspired pop up shop a few years ago. Is he on the cover? I've never asked us who's the worst, who's the worst dressed you've ever played in. Oh, fuck. Never, <clears> never, <throat> never, ever, never actually asked. Worst it. dressed? I think it must be somebody now in the modern era, you guys, because obviously looking at yourself and fucking Malvia. <laughs> <laughs> dress Sins dress Sins has went a bit. It's minus for you outside, boys. Come on. Uh-huh, it just depends. Wait, Mark, because... when you look at the woman, the, the pigeons are sitting on Central Park. Oh, oh, uh, bird lady, lady. The bird lady, bird yeah. woman, bird, bird woman. Yeah. Bird, bird lady. <laughs> Gary Harkins, mate. No, Jeebsy. <clears throat> oh, my God. Horrendous. Terrible. Golf I've got a few of it. Lenny was bad, mate. He used to be a converse, mate. mate. Lenny used to wear full length leather jackets. Doing his ankles ah, like the, the Matrix. The converse right. underneath. Mate, I still see Ian McCall kicking about the West End. We've seen him all the day. Here. So I'm, I'm, I've, not, I've never met him, but I'm saying him because he's got that part of the sugar on it. He's, saying, he's saying that Ian McCall's seen him, cocked eyes on him, and chat it. <laughs> Ian McCall doesn't even wear the first of the year. Nah, he runs a bit with the fucking air. Yeah, United do. Yeah, 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 Jamesy Forrest used to be a. He's got bad club. G Star jeans and a Cruyff trainers. No, no, the Cruyff. The Cruyff, yeah, the Cruyff. But no, I think he's up to his game now, to be fair. I'll be honest, me back in the day, I was horrific. I can imagine. I, I was horrific. I, I, I didn't even. Dungarees in it. Dungarees. I used to wear like short skirts. Ma, 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 ma had these fucking combat scissors and that. Boob jibs. Fucking. I was terrible. <laughs> Where? I, I, honestly, couldn't get a fuck either. Did you get slaughtered for that? Aye, aye. Who used quite, to? Quite regularly. Yeah, but... Oh, other boy. Every, every club I went to, they would put my gear somewhere. Peter Reid. Uh, but did I care? Nah. Who's yours? Uh, Scott Brown was fucking embarrassing. Uh, he used to wear, like, so he was sponsored by Puma when I was at Celtic, and again, big baggy G Star gears with a free Puma mate, training top. That's what he'd wear in <laughs> like a or something. But a, uh, and big chunky Puma trainers, man. Where did you get your style for? My dad's boss, I'd say. <laughs> when did you get style? It's different, though, isn't it? I don't know. Have you always been like dressed like that? Or was there a point in your? I always gave it a bash, mate. I hate guys that turn up to train with trackies on it. I don't like every day, like, every day, like it's your last, mate. No, but I like obviously it. that's obvious, but. <laughs> no, I, I, I always gave it a go. I write, I write bash. I am not a big fan of the, like, the tracky every day. The, the big jersey grey chat. The, the grey jersey. Oh, fuck. Stains that era. Mm. Oh. What were you, Paul? You, Clobber? I was shocking. I used to wear diesel jeans with two boot, boot cut, um, Converse, and a, what was it, Lion Scott polo shirt. That was my style at football. I've still got a few. But baggy, imagine. <laughs> <laughs> Magic, imagine when I was bagging when I was a kid. 
Aye. But really baggy? I think the baggy jeans are coming back though, aren't they? Oh, they're always the same, they've got them on the day. I, need, I think it, <laughs> say they're back does it, Designer, uh, I, hate, I hate the ones that are always destined designer, but it looks terrible. I think that's worse than, than the tacky gang, because the tacky gang don't care. Yeah, yeah. But I've seen the boys that spend fortunes that just, just look pure shit. Nah, Big fucking, like these guys that come in with the Balenciaga jumpers on. See, see like that Gucci zipper. <laughs> <laughs> see that Gucci zipper. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, that went down a treat of the day. I don't know, mate. Oh, look better. Nah, best I've seen. Best I've seen. Have you stopped greeting for that? Strange, you just kept busting it at the end. What about that? What that for you? Oh my god, my body just stopped working, didn't it? Yeah, I've never seen a phone. We were on a date, my body just stopped working, I just fucking collapsed. <laughs> Weirdest thing in the world. Hats fan, Hats fan said that happened to you a lot of Saturday. Just fucking collapsed. See, on the, it's like, on the hydro, I think it, I generally after the talks with Fed and the people spoke to and sort of just for heat, like the wee bit of uh, gospel, gospel we've heard, I think it's going to be better than the first show. Oh, 100%. Aye. Do you think so? 100%. No doubt wow. about it. But yeah, you've heard that. Sorry, anyway. You're better at the experience, I know, aren't you? So we know what worked. We know, to be fair, everything worked, but we know we know we can go back. Aye, with one thing that is a must is, and it's 100% of you're coming, no pubes. No, I need no, no, pubes. It could be checked. I That's caught time. somebody with <clears throat> pubes on. Did you? At the first show. What, you could see the pubes space. hanging out of the jeans? I know what's yeah. happened here. Through the button shirt. No. Through the button shirt. No, that was George. It's a dab, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> That's terrible. You know who else turned up the pubes? Him and his face. Ah. <laughs> his face, isn't it? I can't believe he's done He's had a clean shave. <laughs> I, he's, I did shave. He's given himself a shave because he knows that he's got five weeks to go a bit of fucking pubes. <laughs> I had it behind you, I had it in your face. He's shabby. Brilliant. <laughs> um, so, what, what's the date? 16th? 16th, so it's perfect. No, that's what I was going to say. Have you heard what happened? So... We, we met, obviously, the producer the other day, we were out for a coffee, and they see the main guy for the Hydro. He was coming to open goal at night. Oh, that's a genius. And uh, so he, this is the main guy at the Hydro. He runs the full show. He's like, I'll go in early and get, get work done before the show. So he was sitting in one of the boxes, and he heard us doing the warm-up. Oh, you're joking. And he's like, who the fuck are these reprobates that are coming? <laughs> that was like, Beverly Poop Talk. Mate, that was the best part of the whole show. He said he was close to cancer. Mate, imagine somebody videoed that warm up, warm up act. Just sl- every every worker in the hydro no, just gets slaughtered. Oh, they, they all get, they all stopped their job, too, didn't they? Some of them are loving it to be fair. Yeah, yeah, I love it. Oh, brilliant! brilliant. You should have got a video of that. I think the next one's got to be full, full do- do- doc. What's the word? There might be a documentary for the first oh, as well. Doc, you serious? Imagine just getting filmed backstage on that first one. Me. It's like a hostage situation, man. I think it did get filmed back stage. The whole thing? There's a guy never coming, camera, huh? Ah, we bits and bobs, no, right? Oh, was it? Uh, tickets are still available. Link is to buy in the YouTube description. Can There's not be. a lot, but there is, there's still some ah, left. Can be. Christmas works, that'll be the, I honestly think if you're 40, 50, 60, all your work nights out, it's one of the best nights of year. I think this will, this will be your best when you go there. Do you think so? Can I get a, a better Christmas night out, can oh, you? Oh, fuck me. A great Thursday club. Uh, right before we start, Grover Sport. Aye. Still doing that bet ten pound get the free sign bet. Up. New sign up grow the spot. Also giving away two hydro tickets. Every keeping the ball again and every right in the coupon show. Psh, and they're up to the sixteenth. All you need to do be fucking hell. Talking about hostage situation right <laughs> when you go. All you need to do to be entered into the draw each week. Wait, is put to... a gun to his head. <laughs> Make it a gun. Hold a gun each side. Hold a gun. All you need. Oh, it's like something to do. <laughs> Maybe we did, did an interview with our day we, uh, Wait, do that first thing we'll talk you that All you need to do be, oh, I fucking hate this bit man, honestly All you, you need to be entered What? No, oh, it's you, that All head. you need to do to be entered into the draw each week Is to sign up to Grosner Sport at gspot.com Slash open go yeah. Over 18s only Well baby. done Right, what we said So we did an interview with uh, an SPL manager the other day Just name him, he's a hero Graham Alexander Mate, generally the best guy in the world I hope mother won the league Mate, we went away for it. I hated myself that we gave him a bit. I before on the podcast previous, I but he was an absolute legend. It's a class. Oh, mate, his interview's brilliant. Wait, t- see, we're t- talking about it's so relevant. Moyes, then well, wait till you hear him out talking about Moyes, mate. Hairs on your balls are standing. He'd be impressed together, aren't he? Aye. Mate, it's brilliant. He was. That's generally one of the best, best guys, isn't it? He was. Aye. When's he that coming? Well, next Monday, I think. Manager of the month. To that. Mate, he was amazing. Honestly, amazing. Did he get manager of the month? Last year and last week's last money. Aye, last week. What a good month, to be fair. Mate, I nearly got the open goal shut down, though, didn't I? With that question. Okay. What's the difference for England and Scotland? The standard of the tempo. Is the standard, what is it again? Is the standard quicker. Has that been cut out? No. No, keep it in, so you'll see it on the show. <laughs> you'll see it on the show. <laughs> Fuck me. Right, right before it goes well, Copper Balls wants to talk about COP26. You're enjoying it, aren't you? Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Every morning I wake up, the Maz 
It, my windows open, my mask down, there'll be all pals and all the cronies are all there. It's a fucking disgrace, man. It's a shite finishing. We can't go a walk. We've got an American president here. Obama's just flew in this morning. Do you know what I mean? Right. We've got Leo DiCaprio and Mary Hill. This is one of the best times you've got to embrace it. My sister was fighting with the police because they didn't let what do. Walk around a fucking way, stupid. Do you know what I mean? Uh, but it pissed me off. <laughs> do you know what I mean? But it just it really annoys me. We've got all this. Listen, it is a bit, at times, obviously, it's moving up. But what are you expecting? People need to start enjoying the places alive at the moment. Right? We've got Greta as well, haven't we? She's yeah. a legend, her. I never really knew her. She's a hero, her. She got to the final Scottish Cup, didn't she? I beat the hearts on it. I beat her, man. Kenny Duker, wasn't it? Up front with Kenny Duker. She's causing in the street, man. She's a hero. Absolute hero. If I had a way, I'd keep COP26 for the month. For the whole month? Aye. It's brilliant. We were seeing as well. Did you watch the Kim show? What his mad does? When Joe Biden, because they drive by his house every morning, she stands with a tap up like that. He's flashed Joe Biden. Remember, he fell asleep. He didn't fall asleep. Oh, flat, just dreaming, <laughs> 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 Do you know Obama? I mean, Obama's what time is it? It'll just be a bit to go buy my house in there. Wow, it's amazing! Should we just start the podcast and go see him? Oh, just, wait, wait, get him on. Maybe I forget stuff like that. Yeah, Biden took it away. Did he? Bastard. I we were talking about as well, but see, this this city country needs to change now. Um, change your mentality. And she was there, but people work for ninety five, ninety six. Different shots. Shop shut, Maybe coffee seven. shop shut. If it shuts at that time, the place is dead at night. Keep it alive. Keep the place alive. Get it. See, doing the, the Clyde, right? Beautiful river. People know it all over the world. Get it. The river Clyde, everyone knows it throughout the world. <laughs> Some <laughs> trips in Brazil. <laughs> Can't wait to go see that river Clyde. <laughs> Appear on the Amazon at the River Clyde. So you wanted to be like Spain, didn't you? Aye, so see, doing it at Clyde side, what I'm talking about, and, and even in all the shops and everywhere, keep it, keep everything open. Get, doing the Clyde, get me stalls. Food stalls, coffee stalls, music, get all the lights. Yes. Yeah. I mean, cause see, 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 especially when up, because you want to go a wee walk down there and feel that. Because see, New York, like, yes, in there. Like, yes, I, Paul, I, keep going. Sitting in your house, that's when people started getting depressed. Yes, Simon, keep going, Paul. But, I, go, Paul. but uh, what I'm saying is, see, when you're working, right? And go, I've when the fuck have you ever worked? <laughs> Shy. When people, when my dad are working, right? They're like, wait, wait, when's he working? No, he's the work, Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> made it worse. <laughs> Right, my mum worked on right, she no. works. She works. Ah, she works okay, Her yeah. ass is working all the time. Oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> How can you say that? Like, I don't even mean to say that. No, listen, so when people are working right and go like, so my dad just goes like, right, I need to get a fucking nice wee shop for the weekend. For the... He can't get it because he's working it and when he finishes work, if it's shut, keep the nightlife open all the way through, especially at the Clyde. And I, I'm, I'm just meaning everywhere, but I'm talking of the Clyde because it's deep down there and it's a beautiful river. Every, every river you go in the world, people always say, Nick, we'll go have you walk down there. Keep it all open. Get food stalls, music. Get see people yeah. Sometimes you get a sax. Crazy golf. Yeah. Crazy golf. He's got the sax. He'll right? get his sax. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So I, I, I really think we need to change that. Um, I don't know what the reasoning is because all the other place, the night, if it was opened at night, so I don't know why. So, so what are you doing after this then? Going to sleep, can't wait to go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Scrap the road. Would well, you no, be all for that, Kev? Well, no utilising the beauty we have around Glasgow, that makes sense. So yeah. Everyone's in the city centre, which is a lovely city centre because the buildings are there. But like, Slaying the stage, you could make more of a big deal than they've got plans in place to try to, oh, um, to do stuff in the future. You've seen that on the, the, the last no. live. No, no need it now. No. <coughs> so no, I def definitely uh, definitely Do you know what that's made me think of when you talk about shops being open? Remember we were buying that thing for the the, the hydro. Did we, did we tell you this? The dildo? We were buying the dildo for the hydro and we were in a shop in the, the Barrowlands. And mate, there was a there was a row of DVDs. You can imagine what the DVDs were at the front, right, right where the guy's sitting who serves you. Yeah. So this guy's sitting, nice guy to helping us. There was this wee guy, mate, <laughs> and he was like that at the case of every DVD. But this guy's sitting two yards from him. He's like, that. <laughs> <laughs> mate, and then he put one, then he put another one. He would just stare at it like that. See, <laughs> see, <laughs> Tony Watt. <laughs> what to watch for that? Tony Watt, that big one, man. Mate, see, but. He had his like, he couldn't get any closer to the counter. The, the, the guy. So he's just like, couldn't hide it. But mate, generally, if anybody thinks we're lying here, I don't know if we could put it up. I've got a picture of the wee boy. <laughs> I've got a wee picture of the guy. I don't know if he can blur out his face, just but it's the best picture oh, I've ever Years ago, when we were uh, on that kind of like sex shop chat, years ago, we were on a, a pre season trip with Sunderland, and we were in, went, went and walked in, I think it was in Holland somewhere. And it was like one of these circular bits and every booth had a window. So you walked out of the booth, you paid it was like a fucking page of coins out of the booth and then you go. So I mean, we were on the whole team running each thing, we were all watching like the action that was going on in the middle. 
and there was this wee guy in between us, all right. So as he's obviously running out of coins and the window's starting to come down so in his <laughs> arm. <laughs> That's like I mean, I'm fucking try to chat with him give him a couple extra you know, just so you can see the end. <laughs> <laughs> That's unreal. Oh, I magic, yeah. oh brilliant. Oh, Good start. I, I Even better start. Tell me you've seen the Man United. Gar, gar, what is it? Gulls. The Gulls, Gulls, ma the Gulls oh, manager. The, That's he, what is happening in football? Sack that twat. He's the worst of all time though, isn't he? Sack, he is the worst I've heard. What? I'm up at, Zone 14. Zone 14 and two blocks of sixes. Ch chasing number sixes. Great, that great, one great, great, great. The game great. The game runs in cycles. Uh, Wait, what a funny. Zone honestly. 14. That's a new one, that's right? on for direct, direct play is coming back, back into the game. So you need to train against direct so all play. week we are just going to work against direct are we putting play. It, are we putting this video up a bit? No. Just like, just I, people should it, was search it the last up. Man U women's... Tottenham Madrid with two I don't each. know what his name is, Mark Skinner. It's gritty. It's gritty, was gritty. It? gritty. So how will things change, Mark? Grit. <laughs> grit. What are they going to do? Start doing what he does and wash his face with grit. <laughs> We just held her back long enough that she was ready, ready at that moment, and that's why she produced a performance. Why, why do you, why do you think he needs to talk that? Because he's, he hasn't got a fucking clue. Ah, you're not that's that, why, that, and then that, what ends up happening is you don't have a clue, so you, you, you try and elaborate and things, and you're just making a fool of yourself. Total so what, where could zone 14 be? See if you're working at um, a pitch, mate. where could zone 14 be, Jake? So, Jake, it starts like one as in the corner, your own defence is one, know. and it works like that. I don't know. I can't even begin to... He's saying direct planes coming for his own 14. I know. So is that fullbacks pinging the ball behind your back four? I don't know. Is that like he's, obviously, he's obviously dissected, Halfway inside dissected, the, dissected the pitch into his zones. I fucking didn't fancy his own 14. Zones, I know, that's what I was thinking. A so fucking game of chess or something? His own 14 sounds a bit naughty. Nah, it's... It's, it's one of them, though, wait, I was talking about it, you need to see it to believe it, then not you? Because it's... It's fucking unbelievable. It's one of the worst interviews I've heard. If he, if, he sees the, if he sees the week out of his job, I'd be surprised. How many songs are together, mate? He should just... Mate. He should swap roles for a week. <laughs> the funny one. I don't think anything would change. They manage a swap for a week, mate. <laughs> imagine imagine Keane with him. That. Just switch up. So in 14 and I'll go just switch up. I think he's waking up the day and thinking the whole world <laughs> saw my interview. <laughs> He'll be buzzing out. Aye, he'll be Wait, buzzing. buzzing. Aye. Oh, Aye. He'll be buzzing. <laughs> Only it'll be phone number. Right, I need to know. What's his zone 14 grand? I'm going to use that. Jenkins, you come up. Jenkins, zone 14, come up for us. <laughs> Two blocks of six. That's a great shout. <laughs> I know. What about Roy Keane? What about Roy Keane? Oh, Roy Keane was good as hell, wasn't he? Brilliant. Roy Keane. I'm a grab him. I said, why are you playing spread? Do you know what I don't like about Why? Do you know, though? Right, I'm going to be a wee bit of a. I don't, I don't like about Roy Keane though. I think he picks easy targets so. though. Because Fred will never sit back to him. Mm. Do you know what I mean? No, but, but he's just kept on Harry Maguire and fucking. I showed him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a shocking point. It's just when you ask him a question. Why? And then he, and he, and Maguire. <laughs> and then he pauses. <laughs> just want to apologise to the fan. <laughs> <laughs> he pauses. And the hair. Oh, and the hair. I'm finished <laughs> with these players. That's <laughs> what he said, Danny. And the hair. Harry Rednap said that Solskjaer should take him in. Say that again? Harry Redknapp said on Talk Sport last week that the, uh, Solskjaer should bring Roy Keane in. Aye, aye. What a shout out. Be, think after so, slaughtering them for two years, it'd be brilliant. You get some laughing at that, Some you? pubes you need to, aren't oh. eh? Some pubes you Harry and him. Roy Keane's no shaved his pubes for the years, is he? <laughs> no, no, he gets he's got a big angry bush, isn't he? I cannot see his belly cut. No, he's years. <laughs> <laughs> They're absolutely rotten, aren't they? Oh my Man, god. You. Michael Owen! Fuck. Brilliant! The best thing he said since that Neville Southall video when he was 14. <laughs> he's 14. <laughs> well done, he's 14. <laughs> but mate, Michael Owen was actual spot on the man. Yeah, brilliant. So just buy players for the sake of it. I know. Scott, that was, they three were actually great, Skulls, Owen and Hargreaves. We can see the goal. Oh, just stick an extra man in the defence in. Brilliant. Right. I don't think Owen had that in him. Never did. Brilliant, mate. Yeah, actually, man, you don't have a stay play, mate. Yeah. actually don't have a stay play. play. See when you watch <laughs> the game, right? See that one Basaka right back? What, what does he think? He just goes with him, he's useless on the ball. But he's not just useless on the ball, but his awareness of what's around him and when to move and when not to move. Aye, I think we should go into the Premier League. But the, the, the thing is, yeah. they've, right, got, they've got top players. Ah, individually, just shite, but yeah. just collectively as a unit, they don't know what they're doing, do they? Do you think Man City, Man City have won something ridiculous in the last... They're unbeaten so many games at Old Trafford, but it's not even a game. Nah. It was no, never so close at any point. And that's what I said, mate. Pep's an evil genius. He's went at a half time saying this could be eight if I wanted it to, but he'll get the sack, so keep it at two and All keep right. him in the job. Thanks, so. 100%. Oh, but that's aye, what yeah, was it you said? He said put the ball in the fridge. Put the ball in the fridge, aye. Don't, think, don't know what he meant, mate, but that's what his, his comment was. 
Must just keep the ball out. I have a second goal. But mate, all these guys like Dean Smith and all that are, who've brought Villa up for the that's championship. Shine, that's what I'm saying. He's getting sacked and I know. he's always sitting there trying to do his own 14. Uh, unbelievable. <laughs> I would give that wee boy the man you chose with you. Not even Villa. <laughs> they should have me a total arse man you're getting the job, shouldn't they? Already. Him and Phil Neville is the assistant. Oh, oh like, Phil, he's girl. making a pig zero there in <laughs> Miami and all that. Somebody told me this, I've told you this before, I can't remember who it was exactly, right? But they weren't like that Phil Neville, like if man you were going to uh, an away game at a team hotel and his like room was on the third floor, he wouldn't have just get a lift or walk up the stairs, he would do fast feet I've up the stairs. That, I've heard that. Who told you that? I can't remember. I've actually was. heard that as well. Like three flights, mate, and one would be side, one would be the other side, and then the hops. Next hops, <laughs> he would mix it up. I don't know if you're talking shit. Mate, I know, swear. No, I've heard, heard that. that, I genuinely have heard that. Busy, busy boy. He, he, he could end up getting a manager job. Right, 100%. We're going to come to the Premier League at the back, but we're going to go on a uh, Selic. Big away result, Paul. I think it, Kyogo I, and <clears throat> Jota providing the goal. Very reminiscent of Slane and Rasmussen. Very close, I've under 19. Is it the coach? They both were 25. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to do that and all that. That's genius, man. Did you just come here? Aye, mate, aye, aye. Um, <laughs> the 19th sport is 20. That was a bad, bad, bad two, that. Um, no, but on, on you two. Um, they two are phenomenal. Listen, it's a. It's a. Because it's it's it might be a comment to shoot there, but is it the best football we've seen in years in Scotland? Well, I said that, and now you're going to say that you've <laughs> said it. Right, right. You, you get in there first, so it's a good point. But I even compare it to Rogers. I prefer watching this to Rogers team. I think when Rogers first, his first season was excellent, um, but his team was out out this world when he came in. The players he had was out. I mean, Andrews came in with a, I don't it's know how he's, but aye, I mean, he was a shambles at the start. Um, and what we're seeing at the moment is unbelievable. See, your mates last week, they said that Livingston was, any time I've watched them, I've never seen the Livingston game, but it's attack, attack, attack all the time. But That's dominating the game. The, the, mm-hmm. the, the, the thing is, though, right, and, we can, uh, it's so important to kill the players. So, and I know you can go down every team in the world and if a best player doesn't play, they're obviously going to be affected. But the games he's no player, I think Celtic have no win, most of them. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So I think... Because uh, yeah. even when he goes off and it's not the same, as no, the, the last the, the 30 minutes path. of the game, it wasn't the the path, path, he, he may not touch the ball a lot during the time he's on, but it's his movement and things around the box, like when the, 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 the Alston and the header. The Dundee certainly have to wait for that ball just to be stood up. But he's realised it's short. They can't get there quick enough because he's so sharp mm. in the box. I, I don't know. I just for me, I and mean, the second goal, what a finish that is, by the way, the left foot. Oh no. no, my God, that was at last. You know what I mean, yeah. it was unbelievable. Um, and he doesn't touch the ball a lot, but it's the movement playing within the, the width of the eighteen yard box and always in the box when Celtic are high up the park, and that's what you want in a striker. But so cute as well, isn't it? Celtic are uh, Celtic. no, they're, they're playing very, very well. But again, suspect at the back. No, I, 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 no, no, I was no, no. For it, but I think, I think the defence no, no is bad this What I'm going to say is, poor, poor decision making, I would say, yeah. in terms of maybe the goalkeeper coming at punching things. Could he maybe have came for the first goal? If he'd run his front foot a wee bit more, mm. maybe could have came and got that one. And the no second one and just stayed back a bit. So maybe that's why he's came for the second one. But I think they're slowly getting there. The, 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 the decent thing is, like, you brought in Wills, you brought in, um, you brought in Wills to replace Starfelt, and he's, kept the level of performance that he had before he was dropped out of the team, so that's always a bonus. Yeah. But um, I don't know, I think all round, up, they've got an identity there now, and I think the, 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 the hardest thing is that if they keep those players fit, they'll give Rangers a run for their money, but it's when they lose two or three bodies to injury, then it's difficult of who's coming in and who's replacing that that formation. But, um, but what, He's made players better. Look at Beaton yesterday. Oh. I've not seen Beaton play <clears throat> that for 70 for years. Ralston. No, Ralston, no. wow. Do you know what? This makes it a bit harsh, you're right, but because I, I love these players, but it feels almost refreshing that your Christie's and Edwards and Ayers are all away now. Do you know mm-hmm. what? I just felt for about a year and a half it was like, are they going to leave? And he, the, the written in it's a complete new. That's a good point. Thanks I very think, much. I think, I think you're, what you're saying there is, is that you felt like Edward and Christie didn't they want to be there. Where well, you've got a group of players now that want to be there, they want to play mm-hmm. it well, they want to buy it. Turnbull's getting the ball back now. Brilliant. So never seen that before. Listen. Credit where credit should be a great result. Dundee's not exactly the greatest team in the Scottish Premier League. See, right now. see them. No, I get that, but Rangers have went to Dundee and, and no, I know struggled. I, I know, but I'm just saying like Celtic need to continue this through the big yeah. games. That's that's. Don't where... me, I think the, the only sort of thing I see with the conceding goals. There was a hint yesterday said that 
nine out of ten or eight out of nine has came for cross balls or set plays. That's maybe a worry. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I don't think when you play in that style, you're going to concede chances. Sure. So then you go Liverpool, to, Liverpool yes, yeah. you're going to need to accept that. But maybe I, I worry that if it's constantly the same goal that's happening. They've got yeah. small. Teams. Yeah, yeah they they small team I think the average height was what was it five eight four one five three four one four one. Carter oh, Vickers isn't the tallest, is he? No, no, no. but he's a unit. But he is a unit. Carter Vickers is unbelievable strength. Huh? Mm-hmm. But it's just I mean, it's, I mean, the job he's done in such a short space of time is. I must say, mate, I've felt for Cammy Kerr yesterday. Oh my man. god, mate, Cammy Kerr could easily give up for Jota was ripped his fire trap boxers. Mate, your message to me was genius. What told me, Fanny? Told me, Fanny. I was in tears, mate, with that. By the way, six, six and a half million for Jota, we've just got to get it done in January. Yeah. It's a must, isn't it? Got but do, do, you, do you get them now for the wages that you can pay after his performances? No. Do bigger teams Aye. who can pay bigger wages come come in for him? Aye, I still think so. Definitely. Teams down south be watching that. Plus, he, he maybe game 60 grand a week. Plus, if he's experienced it down here and he's playing every week, why would they know what to say? As he, a team after, listen, he's doing really well, but as a team after, what, 10, 15 games, mm-hmm. could they then go and game 60 grand a week like they said the Premier League Celtic will be able to offer him a lot of money that Mm. He'd be more than happy to stay and play every week because he's probably enjoying his football. I just think English teams are looking at the Scottish market all the time now with Edward going, Christie going, I think. Mm. English teams will be looking at you. There's, many, and thinking, there's no many times where the player. Six million quid for a player. Can they that sign that? Can, can, can the Premier League sign it for that price? Or was, was that part of the deal with Celtic they offered? Could, could, I don't know, mate. We need uh, to, I think, I think there's, that, there's yeah. no many players that come into Scottish football and hit the ground <clears> running that get sold very quickly. They normally wait till like a season in when, they've, then, done it, when they've done it. So maybe that'll be an opportunity for Celtic to get him at six and a half million pounds in January. If he has a good season to the end of the to the year, the, the end of the season in June, May, June, whatever it is, then potentially he might move on. But right now he's in some vein of form. And like you say, Cammy Kerr did he know where he twist or stick yesterday? It was, mm, um, he was very, very good. And it wasn't the fact he's pr- proper old fashioned wing play, going one way, going Good another now. way, getting down the wing. <clears> but what I liked as well was his finish. He's finished for the goal from Ralston. I mean, getting across the Front defender <clears> with, <throat> with his left foot. Yeah. Nice controlled finish and probably could have. Certainly probably could have had a few more goals. Didn't know if it was Pancake Tuesday or Sheffield Wednesday. Wednesday. Yep. Right. Sonny goal. Oh, Denny goal. I know. Goal. I know. But uh, Sonny goal, Denny goal. But well, what I will say, Dundee could have easily chucked it at two, mate. I thought Dundee put a bit of I mean, as you said, I, I, I was really, really impressed with that character because, I mean, they could have folded the air and get the arse handed to him, was that right? Arse scalped him. Arse scalped That really could have happened, but they stayed in there. And do you know what? They seemed to be four to it. They then had a corner, and there might have been a wee pull with Carter Vickers. Yes. Mm. Hey, yeah. Sometimes they go for you, and then yeah, it's four for yeah. you. Never know. So one they gave the foul again. I, I thought that right? was a pull on him. Yeah. So, I mean, for them to stay, that's, if you're um, James McPay, you must be sitting there going, do you know what? I like what I see here. Mm. I think he said that. If one thing, one good thing that's came for it as well for Dundee is that Paul McGowan has said after being so close to Jota, he's going to get highlights in his Oh, head. brilliant. Oh. Same as Jota. So. Yeah, that'd be amazing, wouldn't it? Uh, highlights. Imagine to highlight room. that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> James McPay could be disappointed with Dundee in terms of how the man on the start the goals. Because you're talking about Kyogo's header. Dundee's probably got one of the... T- I would, we're looking at Ashcroft. Ashcroft, you know, yeah. They're, they're big boys. You would like to think that that's an area of the game that they could dominate crosses at the box. But they didn't. And mm. I think that would be more frustrating for me because like you say they managed to get a couple of goals that opportunity the penalty that could easily went the other way before you know it a wee bit of noise in the crowd Celtic maybe you know in the type of games as well last thing you want to do against your firms concede early yes. yeah. they concede so early yeah, that is the worst away, feeling you're, when you're uh, playing them and you concede early right? straight away you're because the longer the game goes on, nil nil, the more you actually believe oh, you're going to you get, get something some. here because people run out of ideas they get frustrated but when you score early Kind of need to step out the side. See, but see the fact that say, like played on the Thursdays, should maybe Dundee had the mere go for the start? I thought they kind of sat off. Uh-huh. Is that the type of game you think they play Thursday? Let's go and press them high up the maybe, pitch. Maybe I, I think maybe they've, what they've done is seen Livingston get the point. Absolutely like part. But then I did, obviously they played on Thursday. But so I see on, see in January, we're trying to sell to need to strengthen if they're signing like what positions? Try to I another striker. I would go and get another striker, mate. Mm-hmm. I think and we because can't, we can't do a lot of travel and Japan, do you know, that, do you know fancy Gio Marcus whatever his name is I don't know if he looks I don't know if he's the right, right type for no. the way they play him eh? he looks more physical eh? yeah. another no Kyogo type but somebody that can get in behind the lines and I still think a centre midfielder as well a dynamic centre midfielder, centre midfielder. Yeah. Yeah. Like back, huh? I need a left back yeah. Yeah. I, I would say a dominating centre half a big one a big boy. Julian's going to come back, isn't he? Ah, I suppose I when? forgot oh, about I him, but <clears throat> big Julie's tooting forever to get back for his knee injury. Uh, he's been up for a long time, isn't he? Mm-hmm. A, the, the, was it a cruise that he'd done? It, he ran in the post, didn't he? Smashed his knee off the post. Oh, well, good luck. Really? Is that why he's 
Last end of last season, I think. I know. Um, right, Just Rangers. When I was at Ross County, lost the first goal. Fourth league in the row. Why is that, Andy? Why are they conceding the first goal? I don't know, but Got the coach it's worrying, isn't it? Mm. It's worrying. Cause that, that's probably, it's probably offside the goal, right? It's uh, close. It probably is offside, but regardless, you, you, you can't be going down. It's actually five, including Europe, obviously, the, the yeah. Broadway games during the week. So you go five. I think that one thing with the old firm, we talk about like the way Levy set up uh, at Parkhead and the way teams are going to go when they go to Ibrox and Parkhead. They want to do everything they can to stay in the game and hold on. See if you give them a one nil advantage, they'll cling on to that for their mm. life. So <clears> Rangers, the fact that they go back into the game so quickly with, with Joe Aribo Cedar at, at half time was massive. Because see, the longer that went one nil, the more Rangers get frustrated, more the cow gets frustrated, and the more yeah. confidence that Ross County gets. So they kind of keep being up one nil leads, like giving themselves mountains to climb. But I will say that I thought overall in the piece four two, probably some like Celtic and Dundee Rangers were. Were really good. Rangers really good. To get and up. I put the box. I thought Aye. the one touch play was the best yeah. I've seen it for a while. Kuna, I think that's his first start in the league, and he, looks he, a player, uh, he was really good. But the big ones, Ryan Kent back. Right, yeah. getting Ryan With Kent the black back. Boots on. Like yeah. you said, even though he wasn't his best at the start of the season, he still missed him when he doesn't play. And he, he was a difference maker when he came on at Bromby during the week, and then on Saturday there, I think it's a, a massive, massive. Mm-hmm. Thing but the first back. Ross County's goal talking about Rangers because when they gave the ball away, the, last year when they gave the ball away, it was a quick reaction to get it back. It seemed quite laboured when when the boy I think Lundstrom miscontrols it and it's not yep. sprint to go and get it kind of jogs to uh, go and get it back. It's the type of area of the pitch though when you lose it, it's it's difficult to actually get back into a shape because they've committed so many bod- bodies forward and they a backwards pass. And see what I will say, see that a couple of boys at Ross County have got the rapid. rapid yeah. So it's well set, set up for Ross County that if Rangers lose possession in the middle of the park, they can hit them in the counter. And see if you from Ross County's point of view, I know it was offside, but it was a it was actually a good goal. Mm. Boys done well to drive through the middle and stuff. No fake goals and could have Step, stopped I think Balogun more so just I mean Balogun like- Balogun Balogun was further up the park so the boys always in behind Balogun and Goldson's in line with the boy obviously there's touch and go well it's on and off and he's trying to hold himself I think if he just stops that boy is just going to run because the boy that's got the ball isn't he going to run past Balogun or Goldson so could Goldson just maybe just have stopped and let the boy run on and that would have been a clear offside? I think once I mean? Balogun's higher up the pitch and committed, they've got to step up and try and play him offside because yeah, they yeah. don't actually <clears throat> try and play him offside. They're going to try and run back with him and the gap's that big, they're never going to cover. Because Goldson's obviously looking across and he obviously thinks he's offside when the ball's played, but I think had he stopped just a fraction quicker, it would have been a, a clear, clear offside, and yeah. higher, yeah. an obvious um, offside. Which, which, which changed? Because Rangers were absolutely solid last year. Off the ball, they were brilliant. Defensively, they? Oh, didn't concede barely any, didn't they? No? I think, well, see, one of the main ones you're talking about Celtic Rangers for set pieces, you know? I know. I, I think that was three games in a row with the, the Bromby game and the two previous domestic games, and they conceded for set pieces. Wonder- and that was nothing. Last year, last year nothing. Their, their set pieces for and against was, was unbelievable. So, But see, the defenders a wee bit of a break as well. I think I don't think the forward players have pressed as well as they did last year. Mm-hmm. In terms of Morelos, I don't think he's working out what it was last year. But I seen when Kent played yesterday, that's what I love about Kent. See, even when he's not the best, he's hard to get the ball back. And yeah. I think they've missed that for Kent in the last four four weeks. Yeah. So I think made, he'll make a massive difference. They will. He'll make a massive But His goal's brilliant, isn't it? Aye, ball, isn't his goal's very, very good. See see how sharp he is. Like, see, the thing, see I, I, I've said this at... Uh, for, for your mate James Forrest when I played against him in the past even you can go both ways so quickly it's so hard to try and show somebody like him one yeah. side mm-hmm. so the boy knows that he's more than capable of crossing that on his left foot and like you say if you're a full back you, you would try rather stop cross as much yeah, as possible yeah. but for that area you can't let Ryan Kent come inside because yeah. you know what he can do but to be fair he's then spanked in the top corner for 30 That's yards Are you but surprised to see uh, Morelos Sakala play ahead of Morelos? No. Not really, no, because I think Jenner's done that a lot, especially after European games the Thursday night. He does rotate certain players uh, when it comes to the game at the weekend. And let's, let's face it, Scarlett's got a hat it last mm. week. I know he then ends up playing against uh, Bromley on the Thursday, but I think it's just more the, more a rotation more than anything. But he's also done back. that well with Morelos, I think. See, when Morelos hasn't been at it, he does drop, he, ah, he's he's but he's dropped drop him, him. And he's got a wee reaction at him, so yeah. maybe he's... I think he needs that Morelos. Yeah. He's nobody's nah. no the same player. I, so think that, I think if you look at that game... Having drawn with Bromby through the week, you look at the Ross County game and think it's a game that we should take care of whoever we play on the park. If we play to the levels that we have done, then, and I think that was probably one of the main reasons why we're, maybe a rest. But Morelos would be looking at it thinking, I'm, I'm, I'm not playing, but the next week he might be straight and then you might see a reaction, you might get a couple of goals at Morelos. Yeah. So they could work both ways, but like Celtic, They've scored four, conceded two. If that happens every other week, maybe he's moaning. Mm. Right. You know what I mean? Rangers starting to get different goal scorers as well, ah. which I think is big. Joe Aribo 
Great hit. Yeah, he's been great. He's I know been the boy, best player this year. Mate, I never he's... thought he had that sort of header in his... Ah, it was a f- superb yeah. header. That's obviously been well worked because the caller's been played short on his run and it's still a difficult... He He's heading that with the thinking, head it on target, somebody else might knock it in. But for it to head in, I, 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 I love you. I would rather win, I'd rather win 6-5 in a game than... Oh, 100%. 1-0, 1-0 ball. Like and that. you're either entertained people, mate. Ah, people work all week to be entertained. Exactly. And he ask you Ryan Jacks back after nine months. Massive. I, see, that's the thing. Like, he's a big part of them being good off the boys. And I think, think he's, I think he's so undervalued. I think it was similar to what Glenn Kamara was last year before he started getting all the, uh, the praise he did. Ryan Jacks so undervalued. See, when it comes to big games, old firm games, European games, there's a reason why Gerrard picks him every time. Yeah. And yeah. see, now that he's back fit, he'll be a, he'll be a big player. I was talking to somebody at the end of the season. I was talking to somebody and said Gerard, that's his favourite player. Jack, yeah. Who was that? Total was that? I can't remember, but he Who said was that. that was I think, see, all the midfielders, I'd say Ryan Jack's. Number one in the team sheet? For, for, for Gerard's first couple of years, I'd say uh, Ryan Jack was the first first name in the team sheet out of the midfielders, definitely. He, 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 he gave the first one in the big games. more protection, didn't he, Ryan Jack? Yeah. And I think that's maybe when you're talking about the goals they conceded, you look at the one in the start, the first one. Ryan Jack was sitting there, does that happen? Yeah. Possibly. Because I don't know if Lundstrom's that defensive no. type player. Because I don't know. Lundstrom sometimes wants scored. to get forward. Yeah. Uh, he, 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 a bit he, more boxy box. Uh, yeah. with the ball. I think Jack suits that role better when Davis isn't playing, doesn't he? Aye. Uh, so so no. sure. Good character coming right, back. Right, mate. Sorry, here you got sacked with Villa, but. <laughs> Damn. Mate, what's that shout? What a shout that is. I've never noticed that. You've seen that a few times. You've got a wee bit of Dino in you. I'm getting sick of his looking like Target. No, no Target. Get to him. No way, I'll not accept that. Mason. But Gerard's a favourite. Seen him top it on Sky yesterday. Yeah. Um, it's a ma- I, Nature. I've seen ones put in the past, but Villa is a massive, massive, job, massive. Right? And by the way, they've got, they've got a great squad of players. They're not great. They've got a really good squad of players there. Really, really good. They spent a lot of money. Um, Dino's not getting the best of them for whatever it is. But mm, I think what Carragher said, right? I think what Carragher said, if this came in the summer, he would then think about yeah. it. But I still don't think so. When Jenner took it at Rangers. I think a big thing is obviously they had to win the league, but was to get Rangers back to Champions League. Next season's going to be that season if they win the league, of course. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So I don't know if uh, would they want to leave. To be fair, I don't know if you can turn that down, mate. I don't know. Really I don't like. No, no, no. Is the right Villa job a more attractive job than the Newcastle job? Oh, aye, definitely. And? Aye, because the Newcastle job for me, right? It's probably right now, aye. Right, the, 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 see the Newcastle job. The Newcastle job is a, a, is a, is a project. That's going to and take time. And they might relegated. So, but, but so, I think Villa's still can. I know, but Villa's in a position now where they probably could stay in the league. They've got a billionaire owner, so there will be money. So if they go, if Gerard was to get in there and they will keep them in the league, they might look and think, right, see, next year we'll give you money, Stephen, and then take us into that top six, try and break into the top eight. Whereas Newcastle, you go to them, you're trying to fight off relegation. That's your main objective. Uh, See if you don't, and you get I sacked. Think... Where where do you go for getting Newcastle relegated? Whereas the Villa job for me, any job that Stephen Gerrard gets linked to in the Premiership, any of them that's coming up are going to be with teams that are struggling. It's the reason why that the jobs are come available. Mm. He's not going to walk out of Rangers and go straight into a Liverpool job or a West Ham job or whatever it is. He's going to go. The teams that are going to be offered to him are teams that are struggling. And he's got to weigh up those options and think, right, wait a minute here, I've got everything going well at Rangers. He, he's won, he stopped the 10 in a row, he's won the league at Rangers. He might write to stay and say, people say, well, what more can he do? Well, he can go and retain the title first and foremost, and that would be a great achievement as well. Then think about his options in the summer. But for me, I Aston think Carragher Villa, said, I don't know, maybe he needs to, feels like he needs to win a couple of their trophies. Oh, mm-hmm. definitely. Expe- the, guy's only, what, the guy's only 30, like 40. 30 he also 40. said he's seen Gary McAllister buying Aston Villa hot pants, so... Well, that tells you a lot. Then, you go. Go. So, Andy, you've obviously... Um, what would you Gerard? What type of character think is he? No, what type of character is he? I don't think he'll take it, no. No chance. <laughs> what, but seriously, why... What type of character is he? Why would he take it? Why did they take just because he's Premier league. league? He knows he's going to end up going to ah, Manchester Because it's a massive league. club now. But Rangers are bigger. Newcastle are a big club as well, but... But to get the Liverpool job, does he need to do well? And uh, 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 maybe a, what they would look at as a better standard? Most I don't see why, like, I don't think Gerrard would need to I don't see why. It's, listen to that, it's not going to get soppy, but it's fucking destiny that he's going to end up going to manage Liverpool, isn't it? I mean, Xavi's away to Saudi That's Arabia a, uh, and then comes back and gets the Barca job. Yeah, yeah. Ah, I think it's just... It's a matter of time before he gets that job... Would he feel as if he needs to go and take a Premier League? Let's be honest, that could probably harm him more than anything if he stays and does a successful at Rangers. And then whenever the time comes where Jurgen Klopp leaves, 
there's Liverpool, it's going to be between him and Xabi Alonso, isn't it? The, when yeah. you, when you, when, See, when people talk about Aston Villa squad talk and say, it's a, isn't it a good squad? Who's oh, good for I think ah, the boy who's good, good? Bendia. Their defence uh, for me their defence uh, even Tyrone Mings no for me. Bendia very good. Who Mings. Hey, Norwich? You don't think Mings is good? Mate, though? I've watched I've him last year. He's been No Bendia's good, mate. Bendia's good. Is that the guy who's at Norwich? Norwich right. just signed him in Norwich. I've never seen him play. I watched, him, I watched him on the top. Danny Ings. Watkins. I think they're I, I don't I think they're a top half no. team in, in England. Well maybe not. Are they, but is West Ham is West Ham getting better individuals in them? I think so. I'd say so. Are they? I'd say so, aye. Aye, Declan Rice, that's good. Because if you're Steven, if you're, if you're Steven Gerrard, right, mm. you're in that situation where Brendan Rodgers was when he got the thing away from Liverpool, right? You take another run-of-the-mill Premier League job, a Villa, a Southampton, or whatever it was at the time that was available to him, and you fail. That could be your career done as a manager. Yeah. But he came to Celtic to rejuvenate his career, got Celtic the trail to whatever it was, and then his stock was higher. So he's went to Leicester where his stocks then grew again. Stephen Gerrard takes on the Villa job and it doesn't work out. Does he then ever get to that point of being the Liverpool manager? Mm, good point. That's what I'm saying. What can you actually do with Villa with that group of Aye, what, 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 is, what, what would be deemed a success at Aston Villa right now if you go and take that job? Well done, Stephen. You kept us in the league because mm. we're heading... We've lost five in the bounds. We've sacked the manager. We're worried about possibly getting relegated. So we need somebody to come in and steady the ship. That's not a job for Stephen Gerrard to come in and steady the ship. Why not give it to John Terry? What's Dean Smith right hand man though? I know, but he left in the summer. But John Terry must have that op- must have that desire as well to become a manager. I think first and foremost it's a harsh sacking. Very harsh. Oh, yeah. oh, it's Took him the championship, didn't Took it? Took him out of the championship. Hard. Probably overachieved last year. While you're doing a right podcast the- as well. Exactly. Ah, get, get him Martin Keelan. Shouldn't he? Oh, oh mate. Oh, what Did a you shit. hear Keelan? I've, I've never can't even have brought it up. Sit and watch match a day Sunday night, rough as fuck, a couple of weeks ago. And the last thing I needed to come up with you was that Keelan. <laughs> so he's sitting talking about Man City and he's like that. And look at Rodri. The Night Watchman. <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? The like, Night Watchman? The Night Watchman. You know exactly what that means. What? <laughs> he watches him at night. <laughs> sleeping. He watches Martin Keown at night sleeping. I still remember that a podcast where you said Roger doesn't pass forward. I still remember vividly that comment. Roger? Aye. Not enough for me. <laughs> Mate, he's a player, by the way. No, he's a player, uh, but he's good at what he does. When they say he's a... Uh, no, he is. I prefer a Jorginho to uh, a Rodri. Jorginho's top notch as well, I but... I tell you who's very, very good. Kovacic. Gundogan. Pish. Gundogan's good. Pish. Do you know who's brilliant? Here's one for you. The 21-year-old midfielder for Arsenal is brilliant. Smith Rowe? No. Sitting midfielder. Oh, oh, yeah. oh mate. That's a player. The boys. Oh, I love him. Sign or sign. Did we just said that at the start of the season? No. <laughs> <laughs> you know how reactive I am. <laughs> what is it, mate? They don't, they don't buy him for like six million cuts. Underlet, yeah. thank you. Underlet, yeah, yeah. yeah. Smith, Smith Rowe's the one, mate. He's... He's another one to he's a, lucky ha- fin- he's a lucky finisher there. But he's the best half turn player in the, in the world. On the half? Aye. The best half turn player I've seen for a long time. Everything's on half turn. Better than Roger, can't Better than Roger at half turn? No, ha- Roger. On the ha- Roger's good on the half turn. Oh, Roger's very good on the yeah. half turn, aye, but aye, Smith. Their hips swivel, man. He's, he's got swivel hips. Roger's pissing off. There, yes, Paul! <laughs> Stones or Rudiger? <laughs> Rudiger all day. I'll tell you this Fernandinho over Roger every day. One, maybe five years ago yeah right? 100% Van Dijk or Ruben Diaz Van Dijk Van Dijk yeah. right. even Van Dijk yesterday oh, bro. how many times he in 1v1s and he's like bang he's at you just put in the Liverpool team going where are you see that mm. I hate he that actually looks as, as, as if he's no running it. sometimes nah, nah. Like, he's not, I, I don't think he's he he sprinting 1v1 too, he's, he doesn't even look as if he's running I think he's Ruben Diaz is, Ruben Diaz is unbelievable though. that's a certain half fuck Man City we're on the hearts yeah So, this game, Andy said Dun United was his dark courses, and I said hearts for my dark courses. Pumped them yet again. There's no dark courses though. Geezer, the horse noise. <laughs> what the fuck? Why does he ask me questions away? He fucks me up there. <laughs> so, what, here. Horse oh, just getting shot. No, what I'm. <laughs> not here. Hearts, man. Honest to God. What? No, that was the noise see. he makes when, he, when he's horse in. Yay. Right. That's what I thought you meant. <laughs> yeah. Is that what you meant? Me. <laughs> No, he had it honestly. I mean, what a job he's doing. He, he really, really is. Do you know what it is? The recruitment was excellent <coughs> in the summer. You give yourself every chance to put performances like that in when you bring the players in. Who's so who you like? Woodburn. Woodburn. Mackay's really good. You've got Mackay Stevens sitting on the bench, or he can come on. Uh, the boy Boyce is excellent. You, up there, listen, 
I think that's the quote I've got one for to Mackay Stevens. He loves it, Timmy. Oh, bro, I'm ready for it. On you go. <laughs> no, on you go, keep going. No, no, I've just got I've just no, got but to, you need to set him up clearly. I know I was just gonna say that in Scotland there's not a lot between the teams, but when you've got attacking players like Mackay Stevens just he can come I was on. so pissed off at being in the bench. <laughs> I could have directed my anger, but I directed it and it was pressing. I pressed <laughs> the third row aggression, I've got it back, assist for GMS. <laughs> Stick that in your saxophone, Robert, <laughs> and smoke it and blow it. <laughs> <laughs> but we caught crime scored as well. Well, well, he pierced his brother, caught crime <laughs> scored the second. Was he at the game? Was he at the game? Well, he was at the game watching it. his cousin and her, but uh, what a finish. But yeah. well, he's devastating, I think you said they were brilliant first half. Unbelievable, unbelievable. T- to be honest, it was a brilliant game. And see, I, I said to you before, Dundee United impressed me as well. How, mate, they're so quick on the counter attack. But as a team, they're just full of energy. But first half, 2-1, going in at half-time, flattered Dundee United 100%. We had so many chances to, to go out of sight in the first half, to be honest. And then Edwards shoots for 40 yards at the flex into the bottom corner, so he's in a bit of hope. But I thought it was two good teams, but we were we were on it Saturday. That's the best we could Andy, is, uh, so, what formation did you play 3-4-3? 3-4-3, yeah. Did you do that last season? No. Did he work that in the summer? We've done it. We've done it for the last... Six or seven games. Both came out of the last year. It was good. John mate, Shooter came back into the team. We, we went we to a back three. Seems Conte that style. Yeah. Got it in the Scotland squad. So How uh, soapy can he get? You said in the shower he gets really soapy. Does he get soapy. really soapy? A bit more soapy. Yeah, just a bit more. What, since he's been called but up? He can, but he is really soapy. Is he? Oh. And who hoses him? Who hoses his Jamie soap? Walker. He oh, like, likes the soap. Oh, they're they close, they're tight, they too. Oh, aye. That'd be a boring combo for that. No, no, two funny boys. Aye, two funny boys. I think they'd be good on here. Right, get them on. Get them on. They'd be good for a wee... Walker came to the fringe and was off a fucking sponsor silence. We're going to get a terror. He never came on stage. No, he was in the back. He was oh, in the backstage right, with right. Blackie. The two of them should come on here. Suit of full of soap. Best hearts yeah. team in the last twenty years. No chance. <laughs> Tell you what, I still think it would be a great game. Nah. What did, did they ever do that debate with the fans? Who was oh, better? Yeah, ask the fans on Twitter. Put we'll, go, we'll put it out tomorrow. Put a poll it. Would you say your team is better? Don't know. Yeah, so it's a good players that team to be fair. We did, we had a good, we had a good run. Just like this team's having a good run, but this team they could probably be a use on the side. And I right. think they're dynamic. They're, 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 there's a bit more freedom about them. I just look at some of the goals they scored on Saturday. Just some attack, of the goals attack, attack. Attack. Mm. The boy Woodburn's control finishing amongst oh. that melee of bodies just coaxed it and so, so that. Whoa. That's Whoa. Coached it in. That's just a Tam coached it. Uh, Tam coached it in. <laughs> Unbelievable, <laughs> Jim. You see that managers usually when you play against them, they stand with a rope pad, but Tam was standing with a dictionary. Aye, uh, and, and uh, AirPods. He had all his players mic'd up. He had his AirPods in. <laughs> and it was just that Man United women's manager, wasn't it? Zone 14. Did you not say he was showing Zone 14? No, no, no. T- t- mate, TC's bigger than that. Nah, well, he's not. Damn course, listen to that. Sorry, Kev. Kev. See the, the, the boy McInnes? McInnes. What the fuck? Is he Irish? Non Irish. Non Irish. I'm not speaking the podcast? to him. I speak to him in the toilet in the. In it's the sanctuary. So it's sanctuary. Whoa! So, lovely boy. Great guy. Yeah. So, I was really pleased for him to score a goal. Great, great finish. finish. Great, great finish. finish. What was your pick of the goals? Woodburns. Woodburns because. In the, the, the melee of players to control that ball. Are you just letting melee just uh, pass like it's. No, but to melee, control yeah, it. Simon, 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 to control that, that was just. Ah, a, it was great goal. What a finish. Does Lynn um, talk like that? Because she's a teacher, isn't she? Lynn's she very, 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 massive odds. Does she? Aye, she's very educated. Um, but, uh, no, heart. Dundee United, I thought. All right. But Dundee United's second goal, what a goal. Brilliant goal. That's oh, a counter attack. How quick they were on the counter. Yeah, crossed. Good head off for Nicky Clark. His dad's yeah. obviously sold you your motor, Arnold Clark. Yeah. I worked under Sandy. But uh, Hearts could have had more as well. Aye, 100%. 100%. Who was your pick? I always ask you. Man of the match. match. At the weekend, I'll go Ben Woodburn. He was Aye. very, very good. Not just his goals, his overall play. See, it fair, Gino. Gino played up front and for somebody that's no use a number nine. Oh, did he play in the middle, did he, right? But, but honestly, I'm, I'm not sitting on the fence. Everyone was really good. I actually thought we defended really well, even though we conceded two goals. First goal is a 40 yard deflection, oh, then second goal. We get caught with numbers up the pitch, and it's like it's a great goal for Dundee United. But in general, we, we control the game. I can't believe how happy you are with your team winning and no. players playing well. See if I wasn't playing, I'd be the best. <laughs> <It was> the, <laughs> well, you yeah. one of them, were you? I mean, I, no, not really the team. My was the team, to be fair, I, was, I hate to be my, my But even when you're on the bench? Felt so low. If we were winning, like I mean, low, stay low. I feel like that as well. Oh fuck! I did. I used to. How you got you back in? I know. How you getting back in? I mean, you get your win bonus. I used to be training well, mate. 
Did that's it. Play in your possession, mate. That was a different story, wasn't it? Oh fuck! See if he done well. Oh, it's the end of that. Wasn't it? Ah, yeah, no, I used you to. Know what I mean? I used to get. It's not a natural feeling if you want to go back and play, surely. I know, but. Yeah, see, sit. I always think if the team's doing well, the place is much happier. Aye. Everyone's uh, you're getting your win bonus. I know, but I know, see, do you know how that's the worst feeling when every, everybody after the game's all buzzing? Yeah, yeah, that is shit. You're, you're going to run. You embarrass uh, yourself, aren't you? That going to run after the game's a fucking that is talk to that. That is talk to that. It's not as bad as it's not as bad as being suspended, being in the stand, watching the game coming down to get changed to run. No, nah, that's what you're doing. Honestly, Mikey and Bob have told them. Would you ever just uh, run in your suit? No, nah, imagine no. Why is it just called the Brogues name? Brogues on. Brogues on. Yeah, you put your boxes on if you want. Do you know what's worst? It's happened to one of our boys once. He was a younger boy, quite cocky, loved himself. He used to come in, came in one day, suit off, strip on no, straight away, no, sit, oh, manager fuck. names the team, knowing no, no, that's the a worst. Oh. See, he's like... <laughs> Sure. <laughs> Mate, that's the worst you're in a whole world. Suit back on. <laughs> that yeah, is the worst. That's the worst. <laughs> but I'm sure he put his suit back on and then the fitness coach come and goes, no, no, suit off. Jim, run. Oh, <laughs> Again? So he's, he's had the suit off <laughs> twice. Holy oh, shit. Oh, that's low. <laughs> that, oh. oh. that fitness guy's just got to let him go, is not he? Don't even do it. Oh, that's, that's the horrible. runs after the game, man. You know. Have you ever yeah, seen see, see, see where that with the runs after the game? Have you ever seen a player like fuck off him doing it? Boy, it done used to do it all the time. Brilliant. Some boys do it. What? But you can understand. I can. Un- I would. I honestly, see, I was a manager. I wouldn't make boys run after a game. Nah. See, the thing is, I think half the time. What do you actually be running all game? Six doggies. I, I don't know. even think the manager has told them that the, the fitness coach does it on their own behalf just to be, to be busy. Because I never ever used to think. There's no way Ali McCoy's has told him. To send us out running for fucking six, th- six box to boxes. What's that going to achieve? Exactly. When I'm going out tonight, I'm going to sink 15 pints of fucking takeaway. <laughs> I mean, we had Guardi Oma does it well, mate. They go and do like wee possessions and that. I wouldn't mind doing that. We had, we had Sunday, Monday off, though, so it's a bit different. If you've got Sunday, Monday off, yeah. you get two days, then you don't mind so much. But it's the fact that you're, your back's fucked, I know. You'll be sitting in the stand all game watching the game. Yeah, we must be getting close to Andy. No. We must be getting close to Abbey Edinburgh Derby. There must be one of them coming up soon. No, January. Is it January? So the last game before the winter break is January. January 3rd or something, January 3rd. Right, Aberdeen up and doing like Paul Slane's oh, arse on a Saturday night. Arse, pants are not. Critical side, Stephen Glass, uh, before international break. Two weeks now, he's sitting that bit. What went wrong? Buzzing. Well, I don't know about the 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 first goal, but see that second goal? The first goal's goal? a great finish. So ah, what the first goal's a right? great finish from Van Veen, but see the second one? Tell me you've watched it properly. I too many crosses coming in the box. I know, but they've got a free kick, right? I know he's done his whip it to the back, and at the back post is one Aberdeen player against two big Motherwell players. Why Why is there no two players there? It would go against Andy Wright, he was the same, watch it back. So it was aye, aye, back. the one at the far post. Oh, Kingsley, was, Kingsley was in, near enough in line with the back post, and there was a Dundee United player within like six yards. It was like, say, say that was one Motherwell player, and that was the Aberdeen player, Martin, and then there was another Motherwell player there. The free kicks come in from here. And it's just basically head it over you, you head it back in see, and then we'll get it. See, and I thought, why, why would you somebody know why would somebody know say I've, I've got, got two men here? Two men men here. here. They, they but see they 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 so if, if if they get a sorry Andy, if they get another Oof. guy over and he doesn't head of it, that second goal doesn't happen. See no even just that as well, Kev, right? See when you watch see when you watch just basic shit. See when you watch the Premier League, right? Or you watch like big teams. See when you're setting up for like a wide free kick, right? I don't understand why like coaches always put their big centre halves at the, like the front, front and middle. The post oh, went to the back post. It's got the back <laughs> post every time. And oh, get me started, see, when, see when you're attacking, where do you put your, your centre half, your big aggressive? You put them in the, the back. back. Aye. And they're always defended against five foot Look eight. Look at Liverpool against West Ham. Yeah, oh, wow, aye. Oh, oh, see, it's like, so we, we always put like how, uh, if we see like centre halves go at the back, like right, how it's or, or Soapy go at the back, they with the big men. Because see at the end of the day, see if it's fizzed in near post, you, just fucking, you, clear, you can clear up your foot. Yeah, yeah. You're able to d- distinguish the, the, what type of ball is going to come in from what certain free kick. So the, the Motherwell free kick was very close to the, 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 the box, right? So that Aberdeen's put some kind of wall. So you know that he's not going to shoot, whip it over. So he's going to hit to float something in. So by floating something in, the ball's not going to be, the ball's going to be in the air longer. So you're thinking it's either going to go to the far stick, so why we've not got two on two, and even if it goes to the front, it's not going to have enough power, enough pace in the cross for somebody to direct it towards goal. Oh. You've got to use your knowledge, your, your, your common sense at talk, times. Talk, huh? talk to each other. Communication, oh, it's communication. That's what it is. Nebdy talks. Nebdy talks. Nebdy talks, mate. Do you know what it is? You want to pass the line, pass the buck to somebody else. I don't want to involve it. Aye, mm-hmm. you're probably Kevin. right. That, I think that was zone 14, wasn't it? Zone 14. Well, they're all scored. It might have been zone 14. So Stephen Glass needs to start Aye. working on defending yeah. zone 14. He's absolutely so, brilliant, that Marlowe Madge. I was, I, I was buzzing at the weekend that they won, and I went and went every 
game now at the end of the season. I've got a wee three. theory though for Van Veen double. I think it was the red took him back to you and him. That oh, seen all the red, red yeah. light like district. He got oh. horned his fucking oh. Aberdeen. I thought he was in the le- I, red, and he just went wild, went wild. Like wild as you said. Are any other red strips in there? In the league, there's no, nah, is there? So he makes me want to play Great finish. Just play against <laughs> Great finish for the first goal, by the way. 20th season, just playing Aberdeen. What nah, is it, mate? Great, great finish. finish. Oh, he's caressed it. Up and just caressed it in the The boy goal. Liam Kelly. Matthew Kelly's boy. Shotgun. Stars in their eyes. Shotgun. Liam Belly. I was saying to him, he looked a bit heavy when we played him. I was telling him. Belly. He's a loser. But, uh, Simple but effective. I like Shotty it. boy. He was good, wasn't he? Uh, Skipper now as well. Good boy, though. Good character as well. I could see him being a captain. What about uh, Ralston f- from Charlie Adam in your ass? Oh, <laughs> yeah, I was in tears with Char- that. Man the best thing was so Charlie knew it was right in front of the Celtic man. He just got Celtic score, he just got right back up and sprinted to the yeah, That's the worst feeling in the world when you get bitched in it. <laughs> you get bit- to you be fair, mate, Ralston's a big oh, mate, I boy. I was doing it to anybody, but it's just, I think you see the, the, the frame of Charlie Adam, it's just like, boof, fuck with it. <laughs> it was like when Mullies get uh, brought down that, uh, it was like that. Oh, bro. Have you ever been proper bullied like that? <laughs> oh, mate, I done it. I done it. Um, we put the reserve game v Kamalik. Remember Pasquale? Oh, aye. Big man. I had Manuel Pasquale, huh? Big handsome boy. I was reserve game boy put me through and goal, running through and goal, and my whole family. I can remember all the, the, fa- all the family. And I swear I was running through and goal, mate. I swear to God, a second later, after he went fucking flying, <laughs> that guy just bossed us, mate. That is the most embarrassing feeling in the world, wasn't it? The worst is when it happens in front of a manager, though, wasn't it? Yeah. What was the man Molly Fortner said to me? When I was a young boy. John Fleck, forward? John Fleck, me put in the arse. So you put Flecky on his ass? Fleck, you put me in my arse. Did he? Yeah, yeah. Well, I thought I said something under his breath, like, Phew, you're degraded. What, like, loser? Or something like that. You know what you? Like, wimp or something. I think that was like, you're a wimp. Or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember, but that is the, I, that is the worst feeling. Do you ever play as Jose Semido? Down the south. Mm, Sheffield wins the challenge. Don't so. The strongest man in the world. And I think you, honestly, I think you used to come out and play Swindon and think, I'm putting him on his arse as many times as possible. Would Every time I used to get the boy, just go, fuck you, mate. And I'd be like, that. heed oh. off the deck, man. He kind of like, fucking pussy. <laughs> and, mate, I think Semido just made it his target to that. deck me. I've not watched the Air De Canning interview for a while, actually. Mate, it did. He picked me up. We need to get him. He would have done that, boys. No, right, I must have done that, boys. I, when, I, when I used to play against teams, the first time we'd look at their two centre halves and say, Who the fuck am I up against today? They used to, that would deter how my game But would you go. pick one to go and bash it? Uh-huh. I would look at the two, and like if we played, say, let me think, we played, I don't know, you can't even remember. <laughs> Mate, seen the Decano interview, right? With the League One, the League One wins yeah, the next day. We play. What is it he says during the interview? Too much chocolate? No, no, but it? he just shouts a word randomly. So like he's talking. And then, like, I know when he just shouts this word and then he just ends up getting angry and angry. Do you know what I'm talking about? No. Oh, do you mind if I bring that it up? Or something there? No, do you mind if I bring it up? Yeah, I get you that. You can batter yeah, it. Yeah. So I'll go for example Celtic, Gary Colwell, Steve McManus. I would pick Steve McManus because I knew that. Right, on a bit. I would be able to get the better of him, whereas Gary. What? Are you not? Hold it, was he? <sighs> strong strong boy. Oh, was my he? My God, he was strong. Did you ever get back to Celtic? Be any place? What? Like training? Training, training get. Yep. Vander Snow, mate, Barry Robson used to elbow fuck at you. Oh. Every training session. He did that Barry, every day. Uh, right? Barry Robson right. would elbow you all the time. Snow, uh, Vander Snow was the worst, mate. A van, he, he didn't care about the ball, mate. He just wanted to bash you in the face with an elbow. The worst is when you don't see it coming, though, innit? Uh, Petrov was about that as well. Is he? Strong as an ox, man. I told you though, Lenny, you couldn't get the ball off Lenny, mate. Lenny was the strongest man in the world. He liked an elbow, no? He was uh, not. Maybe elbowed you, yeah. Brilliant. What was it quite serious? And the worst I ever, I told you, was Marley Watkins to me at Dens Park. And you know, he was pissing the cellar. the battle everywhere. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I'm fucked with you. Marley back, Watkins was the worst, the mate. Right in front of Yogi. And then they went, went through and scored. I had the oh. ball. Marley Watkins came and just back. And Yogi's pissed. I'm looking up at Yogi, mate. And he's pissing his cell laughing at me. He was Marley Watkins' manager. <sighs> So he must have and been I'm strong. still on the deck as, as the ball hits the net when Vernes man and you're like oh, oh, Big Yogi on, must man. have ragged all the few Yeah I remember I watching him for Celtic he was You know Who else is physical? What about Reddy? Who's the Morelos? The Morelos Who's the weakest? Who's the biggest pussy? I would have been up there 100% Slim, yeah. I, 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 used to totally. duck, I used to go to the back post in the corner and duck when the ball came at me Think you're not a guy in the back post the corner's against <laughs> and you're ducking mm. How's that possible? Who was strong in Rangers? Bagheera Oh, Bagheera was Bigera. a strong boy, wasn't he? Buff. Big magic Bagheera, he was, oh yeah. my god. Yeah, he was the strongest. Was he? Aye. Who? So, I've heard him. Aye. Aye. Really? Aye. Oh, he looks it. Yeah. He looks it. I, just always, I always used to think, like, we said, to ask, why, why fight him? I That's what he wants. Why would you try and wrestle with him? Because you're going to win. Scott you McKenna just... was one. I always thought every time we played Aberdeen, Scott McKenna would go out his way to try and wrestle him. I'd like, 
why? Mm. Like, that's his, his, his attributes, how strong he is. But there is centre has like that now. They want to show, like they want to show how strong they are. Yeah, so when yeah. they, they come against the, like strong strikers, they want to have a fight with them. Mm. But they better just. Do you know how he's beat Deeks? Deeks, mate. As soon as you touch Deeks, he would fire a hair. Like that. Uh-huh. But what a finisher. See, I've uh, heard it, like, look, a few people have told me he's, he was the best finisher at Celtic. Two it? feet, mate. Unbelievable. I stick it in the stands every time, mate. Mm, heard that. It's weird though, isn't it? So you talk about that. I, I used to argue with him all the time and, uh, and they were like, to me, you need to get stronger. No, no I don't. Shaving an Esther. I know, but they're centre midfielders. Pencils. Like, playing Spain who popped the ball. But... And the world class. <laughs> no, no, but like, it's not going to affect... Uh, regardless how strong I get and go in the gym and put... I'm still not, it's not my game to go and muscle I, play so I think uh, sometimes you, you, ah, it's sometimes you, you don't need to play you, you could Paul because when you're going by that wing and he gives you a wee nudge you could just give him a wee nudge no, but, but you don't need to be game, strong that. you just need to know how to use your body ah, I think, I think there's a difference it's not my game that. I, I used to fight with him all the time that doesn't make who was this you were a fight with? Lenny and that Dumb. slaughter him so what What would you bet what would you have on the bench press each side be honest 10 no I was I got proper strong I think it was like 15 each side 20 each side Huh? What is that, 60, 65? Bar- it bar- it's yeah. so not bad, isn't it? But I just don't think wingers who don't need to do it. No. No, come on, I disagree. With wingers? I think so. I know. You, you, Specimens make the best players, isn't it? Yep. Sal- mate, see Salah, he's top off the other day. Wide player. I used to obviously need to be... Betty Salah does the great day bench press in that, though. Look, he holds people off, Probably just do it once. Mm. You couldn't play with your back to play because you're just getting knocked down. Who did gym work, Simon? But that's what I mean. I it's, work, it's, right, yeah. Do you know how it's more how you, you know how to use yes, your body? Does it mean, does it, but I you can be it's... strong as an ox, but if you don't know how to use your body and protect the ball. Oh, you didn't See when you watch Joe Rebo? Joe Rebo's not the strongest, is he? But the way he protects the ball and mm. uses look his body Arjun, look at Arjun Robin. Robin. I know, but he's not playing now. The games may have done for that, eh? <laughs> ah, good point. Yeah. Hey, Jota. You fuck eh? Kyogo. Kyogo. Eh? Yeah, he's a psycho. Manny, animal. animal. No. But he said Jota though. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Sterling, what? strong as an ox. I sit on the bench every game. So, <laughs> <laughs> so the, the, a great, a, a great bit onto Scotland, and we almost know when we come to the international setup. Kevin Kyle speaks to the nation, please. Come on, Kevin. Come on, Kevin. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, come on. 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 Two of the m- biggest games. This is to get to a World Cup. What does this mean Euros. for the nation, Slaney? You're in the camera, please. Sorry, mate. This isn't for a crappy Euros. This is for a World Cup, mate. Right, Scotland fans out there. No, it's the players. The players. Players. Aye. They both of you, aren't No, fuck the players. <laughs> no. 1998, last World oh. Cup. Good start. Right. Good Good strong start. start. 2022, 24 years later. You boys obviously wouldn't even know what a World Cup was. Because he's one even there. He's one even. He's one five five years old. No, I was. I was tough. sixteen. Yeah, I keep going, Kev. Loved it. Need right. more. We need guys like Paul Slane, Andrew Halliday, the young Simon Fen- Ferry there. Fenny. Fendi. To uh, to um, experience the greatness of being at a World Cup, and only you guys can do it. Why? Why are you zooming in on me? I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not doing this, boys. <laughs> <laughs> no, just tell him what you want to see in the next two games. I just want to see a bit of pride. Hey! I want to see his beat Moldova because they're shit. Oh! Right? We need to beat Moldova. We can't beat Moldova, we don't deserve to beat Moldova. I've got the team talk. I know, he's done the team talk. Why can't we just concentrate on ourselves? Concentrate on Scotland. Concentrate on the nation. What does it mean to be Scottish? Come on. It means everything, Paul. Born here, raised here, <laughs> made here. Are you born here? <laughs> Well done, Kev. Hey. That's shit. Paul, we're taking that bit out. No, no, no <laughs> chance. Right, we're taking that completely out. <laughs> Fucking talk about putting me under pressure, boys. <laughs> Fuck being a manager. You talk about being a coach. <laughs> Fuck yeah. that. Right, game. Massive game. Massive game. Massive. Go on, Massive for Scotland. Go on, Andy. Before massive for <laughs> open goal. That is massive for open goal. Massive, massive for the nation. Martin, Martin, boys, sort us out with another ah, good summer. Right. Best summer of our lives last year. I know, but where are we going to do a winter fucking Wonderland a World Cup? Yeah, you know, it's, you know, it's, we'll get something. We'll find something, mate. Eh? But we need to spend a thought for Lewis Ferguson for the next two weeks. He's going to be in a room with John Carver. You're joking. I told us the other day that John Carver eats curries in the bath. Oh, no. <laughs> a cup of tea as well. A cup of tea. And Andrew's really jumper on. He says he just loves to sweat, so poor yeah. Lewis will need to put up with that for two weeks. But I enjoy it. 
Nej, nej, han gik ikke. Sige mig, han kiggede ikke rundt. Han kiggede ikke rundt. Han gik bare nede. Did you not see what he did? Scored a Wendy's lock to that, nej. Han gik bare nede bare fem. Han gik for at kise for at vende. John Carver er stadig et kort af mit tomme. John Carver var en Newcastle Rangers manager, vi spillede med de år ago. Han var en youth team manager. Han var en manager. Han var en proper job der. Han siger, han siger, han skal ikke sige noget. Han siger, han siger. He's the assistant manager, isn't he? Daniel John Suter, did John Suter actually call up? I called up. Oh, but I only said, it's a bit tired. Big players. We were shouting for Big Charlie to be in it, but Suter's a better option, isn't he? No. Yeah, it's a better option. I love the big man, but Suter's, Suter's ready for that. Ah, Suter's ready for that. If Suter didn't get injured. Did you not know that? No. What? Did you not know that? Ah, I hear something saying, see. Remember that great man up and fuck in change. I think he's been a part of Steve Clark's squad as well. No, he was, eh? Answer me this one. How is he playing for Scotland? His brother's playing for Australia. I know, I don't know. Bro, that's good by you. Why is he not playing with Scotland? I don't know. Did you play? I played for Australia. No, no, is he, do you think Suter will start? If Hanley's it? I'm Tierney's been out into it. So yeah, that's it. Is he out into it? He's probably got a good chance. Keeper on the left. Tierney's back training though. So he'll be, he should be alright. Didn't he play yesterday? I'd play him. All day. Play Suter, would you? All day. Where in a back three, Andy? Right in a back three. Right in a back three, just like Hearts. Is he a better option than a right in a back three than McTominay? Aye, I'd say so because he's not a centre half, is he? He's a natural defender. Yeah. Yeah. Although McTominay, to be fair, has done well in some of the games he's played centre half, but he might not even play. Mm. Midfield free, no the McGregor Gilmore again. Aye, no that. But he, McTominay played in the midfield. Uh, what do you the call it? Fairies game, game didn't yeah. he? Wasn't he great? No, I wouldn't play McTominay. No, I'd put Suter in. Would you? Aye, definitely. Because you want to keep McGregor and Gilmore, don't you? No, you don't know Joe McTominay, no. no. I know he probably won't, but I think when you find, with, 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 if you've watched John Suter enough this season, you'll see that the ball playing some half, Simon. Knows when to defend. Big presence. We don't have many big six foot three, six foot four players that can help defend crosses at the box. So that's always a, a, an added, added bonus. But John Suter, on that, I think it was only a few weeks ago where he scored. I think in that game, I can't remember how they were playing, but he was brilliant. Yeah. Um, or you see McTominay does play the right hand side then and, you, and Tierney is fit for the left. Jack Henry. Are you going Jack Henry? Yeah, he's well played play. well Jack Henry. Aye, yeah. Jack Henry's done well enough. Yeah. Um, but, no. but if Tierney's not fit then, Jack, is it, would you go Liam Cooper or John Suter? I'm, call, I'm calling Kings up. For the left side? No. I think it's important though to, what, to, do you Kings to keep the balance play? right. Aye. That's where he plays for Hearts or not? No, but I'm saying do you think he could play for Scotland? I think he could, aye. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. Oh, there you go. We, but but do you not think it's important it? if you play a back three and you're trying to build it for the back like what we'll do against Moldova, you need to have balance by a left side yes. and half of the three. Somebody but Cooper's decent, well. he's like is Cooper left footed? Yeah. He's uh, uh, he's not played the uh, I don't know if he's is it, Cooper played for Scotland? Like, no, he is, he's played for Scotland. No, he but has he played been, the last it, few, didn't he? The last few I'm But saying. I mean if if Tierney's out, I'm saying and they need a replacement in the squad, King's like Alright, there you go. To be fair, it's good to hear this conversation because it shows we've actually got a wee bit of options. Depth, options mm. Which is which good. Which we've not had for years, we haven't had for a long time, but even you're saying you're keeping the balance right, Charlie could come in there, yeah, left side, centre half. I tell you who's an hour one that must be knocking on the door. Boy, Aaron Hickey. Fair Bologna. But hey, let's be honest, he's fighting for the hardest position in the squad to get into. I know, because right. you've got all the... He's still footed as well, like Ken. Ah, he is. That's strange, actually, he's been in Serie A, not he? Yeah, Mate, he's linked to me, um, he's, he's linked to me a, a big move, I can't remember who it was, but... Bayern, isn't it? Apparently... Was it one of your shows? Was it one of your shows? He's flying over there. He was at one of your shows, mate, and I've never seen a wee boy look so confused at the time. It was with his dad, though, wasn't he? His dad? No, oh, his dad. the last thing you can go with your dad, isn't it? He was only 14 at the time. Alright, what's the predictions for... Oh, no, we need to talk about it. We spoke about it in the Coupon Show. Ralph Ralston will be in it. Should he be in it? I should be, Simon. I'm going to say this honestly, but... If you're going to pick players in form, he should be in. Stephen O'Donnell shouldn't be in. Yeah. And I think there's a wee bit of uh, loyalty, possibly, for was what Stephen O'Donnell has passed. I just think that he got sent off the other week, and the sent off was down to poor defending, getting himself in bad positions, I think he made late tackles. Um, and I just think that if you are in watching games week in, week out, you would see that Anthony Rallison at this moment in time is playing as good as anybody in that position. Will he oust uh, Nathan Patterson? No, he probably won't. Nathan Patterson's not been playing, so I think <laughs> Nathan Patterson, that's his, his position now on the loyalty thing. But at the same time, I just think that there was no reason why we couldn't bring in Anthony Allison. He, I think in time, he will get in there. just don't understand why not. But now. if you've got a player in your Steve Clark, you've got two games to go left of this campaign, you've got a guy there who's been there for the full time, he knows what you want for him inside out. I get that. Do you know what I mean? That's why I, I get that. I get that. But at the same time, 
Well, you have to get to the whole cup. And can you make, maybe make them better yet? Aye. That, that's we're the, here, that's the reason he's picked um, O'Donnell. O'Donnell, yeah. Because like you say, oh, based on form, he should be in. Ralston should be in. But this, if, if Anthony Ralston continues to, to play the way he's playing, he's, he's going to get in at some point, isn't he? Do you, do Whether you, that make, makes it right or not, it's up to Steve Clark. But he showed up, a lot of loyalty and trust, didn't he? Do you end up with somebody that might end up scoring 10, 15, 20 goals and they don't get picked because they've only part of the old squad? Is that how no, it works? It's, it's, you pick players who are in the best form. Because Gareth Southgate came at Kevin said about. He does it all the time, Sancho, really. Sancho in a couple of minutes. Greenwood, he's left it as well. I can't but that was harsh, I thought the Greenwood one. He, he's one of the he best. He's Man U's best player, arguably, this season. Mm. But he, he, yeah. he, he, he picks people on form oh, constantly yeah. and drops players out. If they're not doing it, they get dropped out. Yeah. He does it constantly. And it seems and, to work for him, that. And it works for him. Yeah. So if it's good enough for England, it's good enough for Scotland. But at the same time, I to- I've got nothing against Stephen O'Donnell. I don't, I, don't, I, I, I don't even know the guy. I just think that on form, if I was Anthony Ralston, I'd be sitting there thinking, why, why am I not getting yeah. in here? Paul, you already said opinion, aren't you? said that in the Cooper's I already gave my opinion, like, and very, I've said, very strong opinion. And I've said, and I've said sexy bastard, bastard should be bastard in. It. Sexy bastard should be in, shouldn't he? <laughs> I was annoyed, it was frustrating, but I've already said what I've got to say, I had a strong opinion on it. So we've left it up to them. Are you not excited about it though? Oh, <sighs> the game. I think we'll do it, definitely do it. Yes. We'll beat Moldova. Yeah. Fucking get beat Moldova. I'd like to think so. I don't know, mate. It's not, I don't think it's as easy as it sounds. No, it's not as easy as it sounds. Well, we nearly got to beat for the Pharaohs. No, no, nearly got to beat for the Pharaohs. I've Moldova are worse. Are they? Aye. 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 But we'll beat them. Hopefully, hopefully we beat Moldova and then obviously the game against Denmark on the Monday night. I think. If we, we might beat. need a point, though. Eh? Aye, we need, aye no, no, we wouldn't need a point. For the seeding? For the seeding, might get us a better option in the playoff, which would be amazing. And then obviously we'll need to do a. They do maybe go to the game next Monday, a week on Monday. See for, yes. the, see for the playoffs, is it just a Two, single leg again? Single leg for the first one, and then a double for the final, is it not? I'm not sure. Uh, predictions for two games then, come on, gaze them. Right, Moldova 2-0. 3-0. 3? Three? Aye. And then we get a states. Moldova. No, when when have we won a, when, have we, have we won a game 3 0 under Steve Clark? Aye. 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 No. Aye. Hammer thing, be. Yeah. Uh, thing, be. <laughs> Aye. What a we did. Really? <laughs> did, did we not? Did we not? Did we, not we did. We beat somebody 3-0, 4-0. Was it, was it was a friend or away? My memory's pish, but I... Uh, Pharaoh's away. We beat 3 or 4-0, did we not? No, it was fucking... Last 10 minutes, John. Was that 1-0? Yeah, oh, 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 Pharaoh's away. No, Pharaoh's at home, we, we battered. No, because we only beat them 1-0. Right, no, Pharaoh's no, at home, Scotland won 4-0. Aye, Pharaoh's at home. Aye, that's the one, aye. Scotland won 1-0. 1-0, and... Uh, Who's playing Denmark at home? Yeah. Denmark through though, aren't they? Aye. Mm-hmm. So 1-1-0 one, 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 that one as well. 2-1-0? 1-1-0. 2-1-0. 2-1-0. 3-0-1 each. Denmark playing red, so should you call it Van Veen? Oh, Van Veen. Oh, Van Veen. Get him. He's got a Scottish... Put him left centre half. <laughs> Can you play there? <laughs> I think so. Aye, it's a great show. Aye, just get him. Go to the World Cup, boys. Oh, I'd love to go to We'll be there. Qatar, innit? What is that? Is it October? It's November, January? December or something? <laughs> it's a shot but listen no idea be great to get there trying to get to the SWG3 30 times a month can you fuck <laughs> <laughs> okay, the same pattern 30 times <laughs> right wait till you hear Barry Barron's jeans <laughs> Denmark oh mate was that Denmark was that the one I showed Denmark, Denmark. Denmark. <laughs> Scotland oh mate do you know what I felt like when I showed Denmark nothing happened like Charlie Adams must have felt like oh. that <laughs> 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 uh, right, we spoke about Roy Keane, but Daniel Fark, the porn director, has been sacked for Norwich. Wow. Hey, you must have forget a big movie coming up, haven't you? Aye. Ask Blaster Force coming up. <laughs> Tony Waters from here. The wee guy in the barracks can't kind of wait. When's that fucking fart in the list? <laughs> can't wait for Ask Blaster Force. <laughs> wee guy, you got Farks in the release. <laughs> oh, oh, mate. No, it's I didn't, it's I didn't, it's I didn't time, but. Scottish timing. 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 I think you just sit and try for it's that word, that shite with words. What's the word when you just try to stick up for somebody? Stick up for them. No, but what's Back them up. Like what I'm saying is you need to know the right man could sit there and have a Defend them. Defend a good defence for Daniel Fart to stay with. I mean <laughs> Oh that was just broken. Even his team, man. Mm-hmm. But I don't know, I, I do feel for a wee bit, but 
I thought he made a lot of excuses. See, every time I, I heard him get an interview after the game, it was excuse after excuse. Can I ask something, Sai, though? What I can understand is, right, they've absolutely demolished the championship two years in a row. So obviously there's something he does really good, but is it the, the recruitment is not good enough for the Premier but, League? What is it? Cause it I wouldn't, but you've got to adapt at times as well, haven't you? Going to adapt. There's a manager. It's just total playing uh, out all the time, uh, isn't it? It's just they possibly haven't adapted. So predictable. To, Look at Brentford, uh, mate. They're brilliant. They mix it up. They're playing in the hit. Jenkins, Tony. Yes. I know they're going, but mate, they dominated. They, they dominated no, Norwich. Norwich, Norwich I can That's understand if it's what they're good at, but there has to be a level of why boys, adaptation. Why, why Conkin boys? I don't know why it's so straight. I don't know. <laughs> why is it so pointy? But. I mean, come on. No, no, listen. First I, win, what was that? How many games at the end? Premier League? Five years, isn't it? Fuck the Premier League, anyway. <laughs> no, I, I, just, I just don't. Um, Steven Gerrard's favourite? I'm always joking, he's not. No, he's <laughs> not. No, listen, I don't. I, there had to be some sort of change. They tried them the last time they were up. They tried them, didn't work. Tried them again at the start. If it had a shambles at the start, need to be changed. I don't know who's going to get that. Who gets Gary Mixon, you know, the Norwich manager before? No, not just left Middlesbrough. Chris Wilder. Why? Norwich should have just got Chris Wilder. Chris Wilder's went to Middlesbrough, didn't they? Uh-huh. Yeah. Why did Norwich who, who, t- who it takes in? the Norwich job? I know, mate. See, if I got offered the Norwich job, I've got a podcast, mate. <laughs> Peter Heed, didn't it? Peter Heed. Peter Heed, that Tuesday night. <laughs> oh, Delia will be on the touchline next week. Who, why would you want the Norwich uh, job? Strip shite. You played you know the Carrow Road. Played that. I think that's all right, to be fair. Gary Holt's favourite. <laughs> It's not a bad shout. <laughs> well, as, oh, as long as there's not a fan debate down there. <laughs> Fuck me, guys. Uh, Eddie Howe looks set to take over the castle. Eddie Howe, he is doing my tits in. He's huh. a wee boy, mate. Uh, just do my... Just take a job, be man. Be a man and be a job. Does he not know anybody else in football? Do you know what I mean? Oh, he, he needs his own back room. Like, well, I, I, again, then on the flip side, I'm sure you were saying last year that... No, I, I get... Well, they need your own, I'm saying you do need your own people in, but does he only know that fucking one boy? <laughs> Amazing, mate. No, mate, MDL should fit more. I don't, I, I, he's just, he's just, he's. But I will say, in his defence, right? So you're, you're saying that if I'm going to take a job where I got relegated in my last job, I'm going to go into that job 100% with everyone that I know and trust. No, but I get yeah? it. What? No, I get it. But, but if what? it's not, but if one person's not available, then surely you can put But he is available. But what's the, what, what is the, what is the constant issue? What are they fucking at? What's this guy asking for? Do you know mm-hmm. what I mean? What's his assistant wanting all the time? How, how's it? Because my manager gets a job, he gets his MP point. Fine. What is it Edward Howe's asking for this guy to get? <laughs> where's, his sis- where's his assistant? Where's his assistant? Was it, uh, he took the Bournemouth job, which I couldn't believe. Snake. That would be your Snake. first thought, wouldn't it? Um, no, but I just, I can't, I can't understand Eddie what they're asking. Down. We actually need to find out. Do you know what, Kev? I think you could be right. Eddie Howe takes him down because I don't think he's got the character to do nah. But is Newcastle, is, is Newcastle got anybody there that's going to challenge? I don't think so. They've not they've seen their players already. They really have not Newcastle. They will hang off everyone. I think teams. Newcastle go down, mate. I think they go down. I hope they, they go, go down. down. But, but the, the, in right January, there. they might just go back. In January, and who, who, seriously, right? Who, who, the top players that are linked with, who's going to go to Newcastle? Maybe. Maybe. You see, with Newcastle and the Eddie Howe style play, is he going to be able to go and do that with boys that have lost eight, eight games or something this year? I don't think so, Sai. Si. Is he, are they going to go and have the confidence to go and play it for the back? I'll tell you what, see Bomb if they're going up. Oh, they're flying, they're, they're flying. absolutely they're flying. flying. But his, his defensive record at Bournemouth, in no. terms of continuing goals, no great. I don't, I, I, I just look at Newcastle's team and I'm thinking, <laughs> Eddie, trying to pop that about and stuff. I, don't, I think you can date with any team, but I don't know, they're a poor, poor side, Newcastle. Like, like say, squad of players. I don't who, even know him, do you who, who do you go and sign in January? But, Bring me Ginger uh, fucking uh, Louise at Longstaff. They're trying to get Longstaff back. As a career professional. Oh, front, I'm going to pay Aberdeen five million quid to get him back. Looking at that move and thinking, oh, that's a good move for me. Oh, aye, Newcastle in a relegation battle. Have they seen? But I like the Coutinho, play? right? Is Coutinho honestly going to go to Newcastle? No, he's no is he? Not big yet. Well, unless so he gets off, unless he gets off on that fortunes. Aye, he should. Honestly, but can't the, it. I think they go down. I hope they go down. St so Maximum's a player, though, isn't he? Oh, my wee boy loves St Maximum. Does he? Huh? Great, oh, I saw he bangs on it, but why is he at Newcastle? Why is he at Newcastle? But I'm, I, somebody said they've not got a clue he's on us. They don't know about football. But see, I they do even get relegated. We were speaking about that day. Well, that affect them, they're billionaires. I was no, going to say, did they need to know anything about football? No, no but I'm I'm treating as a business. But, no, but I feel, who's me, as long as I've got people in there, they keep phoning Ann Budge and budget, she's patching, aren't <laughs> she? So they obviously don't know too much. <laughs> she's in a better job now, mate. No, she's excellent. Ann Budge, fucking hell. You, you see, see, now, see now, you've seen Ann, Kev, would you took, no one what you know now. Jinx totally dodged the bullet. I didn't, Oof, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't agree with the whole Eddie Howe. Oh, anyway, I don't. I, for me, what I've heard, I, I, I just don't think he's got the character. I think things need to be like handed him on a plate, and I think things need to be nah, going okay, his way. Not, I, I need, I'm sorry, right? I, you're saying it as well. 
Mate, he took Bournemouth for the bottom of the league two. What do you mean things need to be picked? He took Bournemouth for the bottom of the league oh. two at the Premier League. By the way, we'll need, we'll need to play this back because me and you have had an argument on this and I stuck up for Eddie Howe and you slaughtered him. Did I? So you've no, went back I said at the time when Celtic, when they were wanting Lenny to go, I don't think it was the right time for Eddie to come in. Same as I'm saying now, I don't think it's the right time for him to go to Newcastle. I think he needs to go Eddie has done an unbelievable job at Bournemouth. I think I also say he, he, he kept Bournemouth in the league for a, a oh, mate, good few years. Unbelievable job. Uh, I'm just saying about his, I don't understand the deal with his assistant or this. That's mm. my mere concern. I, I remember know. speaking to wee Mark Butzel about I think Mark Butzel was one of the, he was the European scout. Scout from yeah, so. right, And Butzel said he was brilliant, the whole in depth for them. And, that, and that's great. That's, that's their opinion there in there seeing it. I, I'm no. I just, 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 need, just need fucking no mark up with you. As a guy, like, as just as I just don't know. I just don't, he, he, he might get to Newcastle, keep them up, crack on, brilliant. And I look back and I think, oh, you say this, I bet couldn't give a shit. I just, my opinion is, yeah. he's no mark up with you, and that's how it is. I'm glad he's not a Celtic, and I'm glad Big Angie's at the wheel, but it is what it is. Then he says at the wheel, mate, that'll fucking be oh, Ollie, 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 when Ollie was that's at when the wheel. You, that's when you know. A man's only to get sacked when every away team sings all he's at the wheel. And it <laughs> so just got to go for, just for that alone. Mm-hmm. But you know why I mean? is he in the why is he there so why are they, why are they not doing anything about it? Why like there's Norwich sacked their manager after winning against Brentford and then Do you think if you add to Norwich? There yeah, you can we'll give you so shall as a manager, think Norwich take it. No, just say fuck off, no chance. Did you see the interview? Right. Seriously, oh, I did. He sat with Carlos, didn't he? Mm. Did you see the interview as well after the Man City game at the weekend where um, Harry Maguire came out and says that the team lacked belief and then they asked all this Gunnar Solskjaer like 20 minutes later like, do you think they, do you think they lacked belief? He's like, no. He's like, ah, what, what, did we, have we said that we lacked belief? And I, Harry Maguire just, just said 20 minutes ago. And he just he, he, like, looks at the air for about two seconds. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Man United are now going every Wednesday to fucking paintball and we're team bonding, aren't they? Right, so that's the stage that's you're exactly trying. the stage of that. There's a psychologist coming for, in. They're going for a week. I even saw in the, one of the newspapers they went away for a wee Wednesday lunch. Oh, that's it's the size. I've seen it. It's that was the, I've been there. I've been at every club I've been at. The manager's got sacked somewhere along the line. And just before he's got sacked, we went fucking paintballing, climbing trees on a Wednesday lunch. See, instead of start paintballing and going out for lunch, get them on a training pitch I, and show them where they should be I, when our team's got their body I, 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 I in. It, it goes team meeting, players meeting with the staff. Aye. Aye. And then, Say what you'd like, no leave. Then, then lunch on a Wednesday. Aye. Aye. Get your thoughts out. Get okay. your thoughts out. And by the way, on your lunch, we're going to let you see a couple of beers. Aye, aye. No, aye. Two beers. Aye. We did that in Kamala. Hey, you can only because it's 4%. <laughs> Ended up hitting Jimmy Calderwood in the fucking nightclub up at Hall Street and we got sacked two days later. There <laughs> <laughs> you go, say big dog. Who drank with uh, Phil Jones to dinner? A lunch. <laughs> well, Daniel Parkey, next... wasn't it? Daniel <laughs> Parkey. <laughs> he's trying to get him in the next pod, aye, aye. Listen, hey, boys, I've got a great move coming I've up. seen the faces you make, aren't you? Perfect. He's coming in. Boys, on, on Phil Jones, you ever saw Sir Alex talking about him in the early days? Sir Alex. Sir Alex. Sir Alex. Sir Alex. Injuries do fuck no, it. No, no, of course they do. In terms of defending. But the best of a man you pull up is a shock of Sir Alex, aren't Injuries. Can West Ham do a Leicester and win a league? No. No. So the top teams are too good there. It's Liverpool, ah, Chelsea, and Manchester City are too oh, good. Good team though, aren't they? Very good. Is the, is the West Ham Stadium, the Olympic Stadium, what you call it, is it quite a tight pitch? Because it looks like it on TV. They, have they brought the lines in or something? Aye. Because I just look, look, watched you know the what? game. You know what? like the big hit you want. Oh, I don't think he'd want a small pitch, mate. I think he'd get close to the What a job he's done. It's great to see as well, that. Moyes lost his identity as a manager 100%. I can remember a few years ago when he was tipped with the Celtic and I said, stable clarium. And I regret it ever since. Because what a job. But I don't know where... See, see, in terms of losing his identity, it's not like he's taking the wrong job. Well, that's the thing. Like, he's not really taking the wrong job. He's 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 job. He's taking the wrong job. He's taking the wrong job. He's taking the wrong was it Perfect. a one, two, three? <laughs> <laughs> no, is it just the wrong job? Do you know what I mean? Aye, 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 maybe. But I, I would agree with that. He took the he took the man new job when everybody else could out see. I think he takes the when the age of my United team, Sir Alex Ferguson. How do you? How do no, you mate, he never got a chance at no, that though. Did no. he? No. And he's, this guy's getting three years. I know. See that comment lost his identity, right? I've said that. Uh, see if he broke that down. What does that actually mean? Do you know what I mean? Well, lost his identity. Uh, it could mean. Loads of things. Lost his passport. Mm, it's poor that, isn't it? But he's, I a, he's, that. he's style as a manager. I actually think like this this West Ham team are quite offensive, but like they adapt in certain games. Like so Liverpool right. yesterday they they've obviously sit off them a bit more time hitting the counter attack. But but what I will say is Liverpool should have won the game still. First half. Mate, first half I doubt it. How yeah. good is Trent? Joke. Defensively is but is that mm. the way Liverpool play though? Yeah, I think it's it is. It's a hard one that, isn't it? First I still think I, I, my shout at the start of the season, I still think Liverpool win the league. I don't remember who I said. 
I think you said. I think I said. I, think you said I Chelsea. said Chelsea. I said was Chelsea. it you that said Chelsea? You're doing all right. I think two shows. I'm starting to see cracks here, boys. I'm not doing. Played Charles nah, Barkley. He played Charles Barkley the weekend, didn't he? No, didn't right. he? I don't like he was that. Side but by the way, Chelsea battered Burnley. No, no, how did three one eight? What I don't like about Klopp. I don't know what you said. I think another one makes a lot of excuses when they get beat, doesn't it? Ah, he does. He actually does. It's not, it's not, is that a full on the goalie? Never. No, no chance. No. What's he talking about? He gets that very defensive. Aye, ah, very, very defensive. Like, you know, to ask you questions because you've been beat. I know. He's got to put his glasses back on, mate, isn't he? Oh, he's oh, got to be specky again. Doesn't he look right with foot there? Yeah, I know. Yeah. Gets some yellow teeth as well because it's just not the same. It's scary. Yeah, he was much man. better with the yellow teeth uh, than the Gregory's, wasn't he? But he kept getting his dinner money taken off him, mate, so he had to change, nah, didn't he? Stick in the fucking I should buzz off and know I love Klopp. Ah, obviously, he's a fucking top manager, but just sometimes he annoys me. Conte back to the Premier League. Big manager. What a manager. I think Tottenham. I think Tottenham. Klopp's better than Pep. I think Tottenham will start to collide. Do not start me. What Klopp was done, hey? Mate, I, hey, I, mate, I, 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 I could be I could be with him. I could be <laughs> actually best, better. Best, okay, look at Dortmund. I prefer, I prefer... Oh, it's... it's no, like, come Obviously, on, Pep's mate. unbelievable, but... Klopp only exists I know it's a, because I know, of Pep. I know it's a shit argument, right? But I would generally would love to see Pep take I a smaller agree. job. I know he's not gonna, but I would love to see it. Klopp only exists because of Pep. Because it, yeah, Pep, Pep said in the past, right, where someone's asked him a question, if you took this job, right, for example, Norwich, would you do the same? He wouldn't. He? It's just that he would be. Really? Well, he might, but you can't. Mate. I don't think he knows any other way through, does he? I know, but, but why, so why would he go and coach someone that he doesn't know? He only knows how to coach that way. He's, he's had it since he came through at Barcelona, through Croy. That's how he's been brought up. I don't think he'd go away for his beliefs. But say he goes to Norwich, right, and they play the pet way. Done. But then I think if I was him and I'm his thinking, I think he'd, rather, I think he would, I think he'd rather go down playing his in way. Be, obviously, he'd be a better coach, but. Yeah. See, on that argument, right? I don't believe that you I know, have I know to you're saying you, you can't take a t- can't take a guard though because that's, he's got the players to do it. This might be fucking miles off and it probably will come across. Remember when Mick threw part of line and took on Kamarnik no, 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 played no, no, no. Eraminko? Yeah. How well fucking Kamarnik popped the ball about. They got it off the centre half in Eraminko and they played fucking total football yeah. for a full season, finished third, fourth. Connor Salmon scored 30 goals before Chris and got a move to Premiership. Mm. That's how fucking good they were. You didn't so, seem better about that. Huh? You didn't seem better no. about that. <laughs> I'm not let me fish out of water. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but my point is, is that if you drill things into people enough, eventually it's football's just right. Like that. Like that. That's what I'm saying. Just my mate, it's Celtic fans like that. Oh, you say like a beat for Bayern. Like, nah, nah. Can I be getting beat four up? What do you want me to do? Just change for one game? How, no, how are we going to, how are we going to develop? Repetition. How are we going to get better? Yeah. You need to do it all the time. You need a belief in the club. This is how we're going to. Pundits. Man United, see, nah, I disagree with that. Celtic against Ferrans. against Ferrans Varos. Pundits got that in that first goal. He just needs to clear it. That's not how he wants him to play. play. So shut up, mate. Uh, no, but I disagree with that. Scott McTomney, Pat Tooth. Scott McTomney, As a coach, you have to. Eat. You have to adapt in certain games. So you have to play Barcelona next week. You, you want them to do the same thing? Uh-huh. You get pumped. You get pumped eight now. But you get no pumped, Barcelona. You get pumped sitting in anyway. anyway. You get pumped sitting in anyway. Well, Livy never at Parkhead. But that's how Livy play. I know, but, it's, but what I'm saying is, if you adapt to what's going to get you a result, it's a results business still. That doesn't mean he's going to change his style. But do you think? But I would take again. a couple of bumps and bruises along the way to get in there. Do you think that's what's happened with Man U that they've knee? But they don't have one. So they're sick one. So what happens when they get beat, they're going right in the next game, you're just going to sit in and play it. Change it. And then it's not going to work that way. You need that style of play. Mate, Rod just was getting beat 7 for Celtic in in Europe. Mate, Chelsea won the Champions League by going battering the other teams, playing out for the back, dominating. See when they play Man City? Ah, Man City City can beat them. No, I get that. But they're massive games at the side season, Ah. so I get that. But I'm saying Overall. when you're trying to develop as a team, I, I, I like what he does. But they're still doing it in 95% of their games, so they're still developing every single day and training that. But what I'm saying is, like, you still want to try and get through in Europe, so if you're playing a certain team that you know has got to dominate possession, you need to try and combat that in ways that's going to shoot you. You can't just go and try and be expansive and, and say, right, we're going to be a footballing team as well, because... Listen, it might be different if they'd done that game, but they'd be full now. Mm. But I think, so if you, I think if you continue to play like that, eventually you'll come and play maybe a buy, buy a Leverkusen next year and you'll be better but adapted to playing against them like that. You're at Celtic, mate. It's now, now as well. Yeah. It's Pe- no Pe- one Pe- year's time if you play by a Leverkusen. Pe- Pe- will never change his way because he's always got the players at his disposal to play that way. He's never he's never in a... No, so if he was at a Norwich, he would maybe try and get him to play like that way. But at some point, if it came to that game, exact he would turn around and say, time. right, guys, we need to step back a wee bit here and no be like do like what Chelsea do to Man City. I just think that while he's at Man City, 
he will always continue to play like that because Brilliant. he's always got the, the players at that disposal. And then obviously on the Kamarnik argument, if anybody can remember, they were fucking very, very good that yeah, year. I do remember. They were them. very, and it was all because of Eddie Minkle. They had that one player that was able to take the ball on the half turn, everywhere, anywhere, and dictate and was encouraging everybody else to pass, 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 pass. That great was, player, wasn't that he? That was, he kept farting constantly. Brilliant. Aye, that was brilliant in there. I like that. That was good. That's, so, it, uh, talk, that's what it's all about. I, just chat, listen, I, think, right. I think we agreed the clock was better. <laughs> <laughs> right, Javi's left to go to Barcelona. Mistake, is it too early? Mistake. Why is that a mistake? No, but too early, Sai. Si. It's the state of that fucking club's in. They are run disgraceful. But they were the same when Guardiola took over, no? Same when Guardiola took over? Was the club not a disgrace? They had Messi. They had Javi. It's got Pedro. And yes. Gabri. Wait a minute. They had Messi. Gabri? What's he? Yeah. Javi. Gabri. What is Javi? Messi. Javi. Iniesta. They had Henri. They had Eto. They had Pique. Puyo. Alves. <laughs> He's going to a fucking shit show. <laughs> a shit show. And, uh, that, that team was finishing fourth in the league when Guardiola took over. No, 100%. They've got the players, and what Guardiola does, and this is what I'm saying about top managers need to do. When Guardiola went in there, the first thing he done, see Ronaldinho and Deco, used to our slobs, get out of my club, <laughs> get out my club. I've seen you for the last year, you're fucking about, you're not going to work hard for this club, get out. And everybody bought into it then. But my point is, it's not really, it's not really on the park side, si. it's, it's a board. But it's some of the decisions again, are making is it Laporta, Was Laporta not the same guy was in charge when Pep took over? He, right he, he was in, he was in when that, but then Messi just had a massive, they're in the media slot on each other. So yeah. a guy like Messi, what he's done for that club, doesn't he? And I, I can't work out what is going on at that club. He's now came in. So it, the, the mess was the previous chairman. It, right. This guy, reporters came back in, but I don't know. Some of the stuff that's happening in that club is bizarre. They signed Griezmann over a hundred million. They let him go on loan. Yeah. They, they let Suarez go to the rivals mm. for nothing. I mean, they let Messi go for nothing. Uh, some of the decisions, are, and I don't know if now that's been for the previous board. I hope it's now changed because he's a legend. But I just hope it's no. I hope it's the right time because he supposedly, mate, if you hear about football, the football he plays out of this well, world. I think the timing's no great from, but you can't tell it down. Can no, you? no, can't tell it down. But Pirlo said it to you, eh? Well, if you got offered the Celtic job in the summer, you turn it did. But that was Pirlo's first job, wasn't it? Was that not Pirlo's first job? I think so, mate. Uh, uh, Kai turned it down. It's just, and, and it means it's similar to be a bit like uh, Frank, can, Ela, Frank Lampard. Hey, listen, you can use different examples and stuff. But see, with Javi, they can only get better, really, can't they? All right. I just hope they're, they're going to back them. Hmm. I really do. I hope they've got the money there. That's, that's, that, that's the thing, right? They can't be, like, I'm, I'm sure this is conversation they would have, right? But if Xavi's getting the job, he's got to be backed for, like, Two, three years. You can't be expected to go and get them second in the league or whatever. It's just a win, win cups and that, and maybe just go go ahead and just start winning trophies every year. Because that looked Dijon up front. I know. Mm. Where did he come in the club? I think he's making supposedly he's took Martin Delchino's room for the year. Where's him, didn't he? Where's that style? He does wear that kind of style. That's what I worry about. Barcelona's just in a. They've had obviously been run very, very badly. So when you're saying, why did they sell this? Why? Well, that's probably the reason why they sold them. They probably had to get them off the wage bill because the, the club was. Financial, financial, money, way, financial yeah. it was so Xavi's just come in and he's probably they'll probably have to get to make some sort of well I'm pretty sure that the fans know that they're in a precarious, precarious position now and they need to just accept that there's going to be a few years of turmoil but eventually the plan will be to get back and he's the man to lead them to that point they still have a decent set of young players mm. and there'll be other young players that will come through and then once the books balance themselves <clears> out players will come in if they because in the background some of these top European teams are still trying to reignite the, the European Super League thing. So if that happens, boom, money comes. And I still try to get that. See, Mal, so so it's, just, it's, just, it's just a case of timing. And I think Xavi will go there knowing that he's got the time to try and have that opportunity to make Barcelona great again. He needs to stop spiking his Make head. Barcelona I mean, great again. Because they've obviously... They've Big Kevin asked. Trump, by the way, watch out. <laughs> see, <laughs> uh, <laughs> see, um, <laughs> see, for, see, for Barcelona, right, like, they should have been preparing for the day when oh, they, the Xavi's away, Iniesta's away, Messi's away. Yeah. Messi's away. This is why... I actually the greatest football club in the world. Yeah, that's the the greatest it. football club in the world. Wait, why does, like does Manuel well well Man, you know, get Ten Hag? Wait a minute, the job he's done is unbelievable. Did you see him in the Champions League against Dortmund? Oh, oh trying to mate. press him. Pop, 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 pop. But how, how, can they, how can they go away to Dortmund and just, and just dominate like that? Yes, I, what you said. Does not hear playing against. I'll play. Thanks, Paul. No, uh, man, that's <laughs> eight years, mate. <laughs> that's <laughs> eighty years. Neymar scored his four hundredth goal. I can get that stat. So underrated. I know. I know he's a prick. No, but underrated. Aye. Underrated. Oh, aye, aye. Oh, aye. 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 
He's just obviously good. in an era with Messi and Ronaldo. Aye, it's, it's, he's been overshadowed by aye. texting his sister. Aye. That's the problem, hang on. That's yes. the best thing he's done. 400 goals in text his sister, brilliant. Oh, yeah. Unbelievable. When is his Fe- sister's birthday? We need to find out. Feb- he's he's injured every, fe- every February he's injured. <laughs> Governor Sport, by the way, will be taking the trip on the odds off that Neymar game, won't he? The, the, the week before his sister's birthday. The card with Neymar suspended. Anything you want to say about Neymar that's not been said before? Is there anything else you want to talk about? That was good, did I enjoy that? Um, I've been with Celtic playing Barcelona. Have I told that man? Stevie Woods went in the changing room. I have no. told that about a million times. I think you have. Barcelona played Celtic and, and Stevie Woods went in. He got Fabregas' tap. Messi and Fabregas crack for future. No way. I swear to God. That's Big Charlie. Big Charlie knows. He was over Ch- what? Charlie. It was actually Charlie and, was it Charlie and Fabregas. What were they fighting her? I don't know. So it was, it was a game Tony Watt scored, the winner. Did they think Stevie Woods was Big Seagan? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe it's something to do with Tony Watt's uh, bum blaster four. Maybe Fabregas <laughs> wanted in it. bag. I swapped my shirt for him to get Bum Blaster 4 and somebody's took it. So that story, that, there'll be many that story, there'll be legs and arms going out of that next week, so right. that is the truth. Right, look out for it. Boys. We've got a COP26? No? No. <laughs> and, uh, Are you doing anything to actual change climate to it? You're still eating red Yes, I, I walked here. Did you? Yeah, Paper straws. That's a shite, that's a shocker that, isn't it? Paper yeah, straws, mate, you can't taste a thing. <laughs> Soggiest move in the world with a paper straw, man. Well, a, a, a McDonald's fucking strawberry milkshake. It just evaporates, the straw evaporates, <laughs> mate, you like that. So um, try to suck a gold bar through a garden hose. <laughs> <laughs>